I'm ready. I'm good to go. I've got my cup of tea. I've got my keyboard. I've got the mouse. But I'm going to make you wait. It's the power I've got. You're in the Josh metaverse now. What you have to deal with. I'm going to sit here and wait. You know what? I'm not that mean. I'm not going to do that. We're going to start now. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to everyone. How's everyone today? Hopefully you've had a lovely day. I've had a lovely day. I'm going to tell you about my lovely day as we get into this Skyrim, uh, this session, as we uh, we slowly adventure with our son Rufus, our two skeletons, our summoned Daedra or Flame Atronach, and then the rats, the skeevers that spawn as soon as we go to attack anyone. It's going to be a good day. It's going to be a very good day. Guys, great Metaverse video. Thank you for your second monitor was slapping. That video best have been on your second monitors, guys. If I hear that any of you have got that video on your pri primary monitor, we're going to have words, all right? I'm going to turn up at your house. I'm going to sit down. I'm going to look at you, and I'm just going to say I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. That's what I'm going to say. Okay? Josh, I hear typing in all caps works. I love you. Keep up the great work. It does work. See? I read all caps because I assume that someone is mad and shouting at me. Guys, do you want to hear about my amazing day? Let me tell you about my amazing day. There is a geek retreat that's just opened up in a town near me. So I went down, obviously. I phoned them up first. I let them know I was coming. I demanded they roll out a red carpet. I told them that I would need armed security. I want a helicopter flying over the top, obviously. And that was great. And I, I rocked in. I walked in. Everyone bowed, as I should expect they do. Um, but no, in, in all reality, it was great. It was lovely. There was a cosplay competition, uh, which so many people in awesome cosplays. Really, really cool. I really liked it. I had a great time, met some lovely people, and while I was uh, there, I was having a, a milkshake, and I was just dressed as Nathan Drake, and what happened is, someone came over to me, and I'm going to be real with you, this is the first time this has ever happened, okay? First time. Someone said to me, are you Josh Strife Hayes? I wasn't dressed like this. I wasn't dressed in the traditional, you know, shirt and waistcoat. I was just dressed as Nathan Drake. But I've got the same face. I can't change that. So they walked over and they said, are you Josh Strife Hayes? And I said the same thing that I say to everyone. I said, what gives you the right to talk to me? Who the hell do you think you are? That's what I said. Because how dare he? Okay? How dare he just walk up to me? I bet he wasn't even subscribed. I bet he didn't even click the like button. That's what he had. I don't. Don't. I only communicate with people now when they write out their messages to look like a YouTube comment and then just hold it up at me. That's the only way that I deal with people. Skyrim is now so bored that I'm telling this story, it's starting to rotate the camera around my character. Skyrim, you will wait for me. I'm in charge of this stream, okay? Don't you get... Don't. All right, we're going to get there. If you've just joined this stream, by the way, and you're thinking, he's not played much gameplay. You're in for a, a real shock, okay? We don't get much done in these streams. A lot happened. Thank you very much for the uh, the subs. That's remarkably kind of you. But no, in all seriousness, um, it was genuinely the first time I've been recognised as being Josh Stripe Hayes, which I think is pretty awesome. That was pretty cool. Uh, I, I just said, he said, you know, are you Josh Stripe Hayes? And I said, I wanted to think of something witty and sexy, but I just said, yeah. S straight to the point, really. You know, solved it, done. All good. I've just used my prime. Can I come up and talk to you now? Kyo, you can stand nearer to me. All right? That's all you can do. I just... It saddens me that people think they can interact with me. What gives you that right? Nothing gives you that right at all. I think it'd be funny if you just said no <laughs> instead. <laughs> just no. And then they bring up a video and they're like, that's you. I'm like, that's not me. Just see how long we can keep the lie going for. Guess we'll leave now. Uh, what's, did the mod work fine? I haven't looked into it yet, Red Sky. I'm afraid I still haven't looked into it. So let's uh, let's see what can go on here. So for those of you who are new, this is my idiot son, Rufus. Rufus can't be killed, but uh, he can be knocked down. He will get up. He is tenacious. I do love him very much. Finally making it to a live stream. What's the first thing? What's the first thing you notice when someone approaches you? The audacity. That's what I notice. The confidence. The bravery. My name is Rufus. Oh, you're not going to like this stream. Does he have a wooden sword? You know what Rufus has? He has a wooden sword, a can-do attitude, and, um, and a face 
that not even a mother loves. You know, he doesn't have respect, care, admiration, or the love of a father. However, he is with me in my adventure. Does he have voice acting? Unfortunately, yes. Okay. Unfortunately, he is fully voiced. So we're going to journey through this uh, this tomb. Now, I'm uh, I'm obviously far too important to do any of my own fighting. So all I've I've got a, a special ability that spawns skeevers when I get into combat, and Rufus will fight. And I've got a flame atronach that I summon, and I've got two skeletons that just run up and start wailing on things, and then I just hang out and use some uh, some magic in the background. Because I'm far too important to actually do anything in this game. Far too important. Yeah. Also, why do you have like two thirds of stamina constantly red? Oh, okay. So for those of you who've not been here before, allow me to explain. Uh, if you go to skills and have a look, I am playing on the hardcore mode and the survival mod. And what that means is, if I'm cold my health goes down permanently. You see this uh, this little bit of bar on the left-hand side? That is a permanent decrease. The only way I can increase that is by being warm. When I am tired, my stamina goes down permanently, and when I haven't eaten for a while, my mana goes down permanently. So I need to both rest and be warm and eat and drink, and it just there's a lot of stuff that needs to happen. Josh, your collar. An anonymous cheerer. Thank you very much for the cheer. That's remarkably kind of you. Are you annoyed that my collar's not perfect? I'm going to leave it. Hang on. You know, it's okay. Why does Rufus look like Ronald Weasley? Before this, he was in a film. Josh, fix the collar. I'm going mad. Are you annoyed that this bit is under the, the waistcoat and this bit is over the waistcoat? I, I can see why that would be annoying. What I'll do is I'll put this bit under and this bit over. Okay, there we go. Totally fixed. Everything is switched around. It's gone from bad to good. Let's Skyrim. Here we go. Don't you ever sit there and think that I don't know how to entertain. Yeah. This is what it is. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Everyone's saying perfect. More people should just type perfect at me, both in the game and in real life. I would appreciate that. Take Dwemer Pot. Take Dwemer. You know what? I'm not a thief. I'm not going to take this stuff. That's not good, is it? Oh, good. The rest of the stream is just going to be people typing the word perfect. Fantastic. I don't need to entertain anymore. Josh, I'm going to need to fully commit and pop up the collar. Look, there's a level of sexy that you're not allowed to reach on Twitch. As soon as you do, uh, they they ask you to move over to OnlyFans. And then you then when you're too sexy for them, they ask you to move over, over to Fansly. And then when you're too sexy for them, you actually get to go back to Twitch because that's how it works. Uh, but in all seriousness, though, I am I'm catching my wire on my, my collar here. So I'm going to put it under here. Almost perfect. Thank you. I'll take that. Can you fix your collar on OnlyFans? It's a different collar on OnlyFans. It's a different collar. It's a different demographic. It's, it's very, very different, the type of content that you get over there. Okay. I would like you all to appreciate how fast I was able to make that connection and make that joke. That's, uh, that's when the Catboy suit comes back out. That's when the cat ears come out. That's when we get the uh, we get the whole catboy thing going on. He actually fixed it. I did, I did. If you get any more perfect, you can be pushed into the hot tub category. You know, one day I'm tempted just to try and oh, sorry, that's my son. I'm tempted just to stream in the hot tub category anyway. So that flame atronach is not my flame atronach. That's a bad flame atronach. My good flame atronach is like there. Is that my? Nope, that was mine. I ended up killing my own flame atronach by mistake. Uh, you promised a 500k subs to a bubble bath stream. I promised a lot of things to a lot of people. You can't guarantee that I'm going to do any of these things. Okay? Will I do a bubble bath stream at 500k subs? I might do. I am in charge. My favourite poem, Invictus. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. One of my favourite poems, Invictus. If you haven't read it, fantastic poem. You should go and read it. See, this stream is not only about bullying a small ginger child. It's also about classic poetry. They are the two things those stream, this stream is about. That's it. If someone says to you, hey, what's uh, what's Josh, Josh Drive Taser's streams about? They're like, well, there's, there's equal parts child abuse of a small ginger child and discussion of classic uh, literature. That's pretty much it. That's all it is. Josh, your mood is too high. Copy strike. You know why I'm, I'm in a good mood? I've had a good day. Okay? I've had a really good day. I've met some nice people. I've discovered a, a geek shop near me. It sells milkshakes. The milkshakes are great. It sells food. It sells Magic the Gathering. I'm going to spend a lot of money down there. Everyone who has subscribed today has effectively bought me a Magic the Gathering booster pack. That's what's happened. Josh be sounding like an English teacher. Mate, don't. All right? Don't. 
I'm a drama teacher, not an English teacher. Okay, I'll tell you the difference. St Stormageddon is gifting 50 tier 1 subs. Stormageddon is flexing, okay? That's... Oh, I've got to buy 50 magic packs now, haven't I? Bollocks. I shouldn't have said anything. Um, drama teacher, you're a Trudeau. No, because I'm not a politician. I've still got some morals. But no, it's, first of all, thank you very much for 50 subs. I've got to really entertain now. Can you imagine if the rest of the stream is just shit? I just stop talking and just... The rest of the stream is just this. Can you imagine how annoyed you'd be? You'd be so annoyed. Oh, anyway, now what we're talking about. Okay, English teachers. Right, English teachers would be like, why did they put the steps on the left and then on the right? Maybe it's because the journey of humanity starts left-leaning, but then as we go through life, we end up more right-leaning, and maybe we have to cross over a chasm as we move from child to adult. That's what an English teacher would say. You know what a drama teacher would say? A drama teacher would say, put some steps on the left and then on the right because it looks cool. A drama teacher would also say, do that because then you can, you can kind of do a little strut across the stage. That's what they would say. It's the first stream I managed to catch. I love what you do. Please keep it up. Piscal, don't you tell me what to do. Uh, I'm in half a mind to never stream again now. But no, in all seriousness, thank you. I appreciate that. Drama teacher also makes the lights red. Okay, first of all, that's because I haven't eaten any food in this game. Dog meat. Don't judge me. Potato. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. You feel better but still famished. Yeah, this is not going to go well. The hungrier I am, the less stamina I have. Is that Skyrim? It is indeed. Welcome to the greatest game ever created, Todd Howard's Horcrux, based on how much he re-releases it. I really do hope that in the future we have like a yearly Skyrim re-release, like thousands of years from now. It ends up being a thing. You know those kind of traditions where no one quite knows where they start? Thousands of years from now, it'll be, and lo, the, the traditional re-release of Skype. We're starving in the game. Thanks, we've got no food. Can I make a Josh Drive Hayes NFT? You can. I'll just be very disappointed in you. You know what really annoyed me a few days ago? You know that the YouTubers are getting NFTs made of them. Well, you know, Miracle of Sound has an NFT made of him. Sabersbark has an NFT made of him. There was someone doing, like, YouTuber NFTs. They were just taking famous YouTube channels and turning them into an NFT. So, you know what? I, um, I searched my name. I wasn't on there. And part of me thought, oh, thank God. Thank God they haven't yet got to my channel and turned me into an NFT. And another bigger part of me thought, what is wrong with me? Am I not big enough? Am I not important enough for your scummy scam project? What do I need to... Oh, Jesus Christ, there's a massive spider. What do I need to do to be worthy of it? Too big to become an NFT. Like, I was genuinely slightly unhappy. Like, you know when you hear that everyone is... Everyone's doing it. Everyone's getting scammed. Everyone's getting involved in NFTs. I, I felt out of the loop. Did I find the Magnus staff? Not yet. Not yet. Size isn't everything, Joshua. Yeah, don't don't lie. Don't be coming on here. At, don't be coming into my stream and lying. What is that? Hang on. Oh, Dwarven Sphere. Let's just burn you down slowly. He resisted frostbite, did he? Well, maybe you can't resist flames. Yeah, boy. Get flamed. Hey, Josh, you are a jolly good lad and a perfect second monitor streamer. Shah, that is the exact kind of compliments that I live my life wanting. That's what I want. Just to be called a jolly good lad. Tony Hawk is doing NFTs. Oh, God. Tony Hawk and his existential nightmare. Duh. You know what? As soon as I saw that Tony Hawk was doing NFTs, I sadly, sadly played the, the soundtrack from Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. And Gorilla Radio kicked on. And you know what? Tom Morello from Rage Against the Machine is... Oh. I, I didn't realize that was a trap. Sorry, sorry, Rufus. Come on, son. You can get past the traps. Yeah, Tom Morello from Rage Against the Machine, he is also doing NFTs. Because apparently it's only easy to rage against the machine when you're not making vast amounts of money from the machine. What would a Josh Drive Hayes metaverse be like? I'll tell you. Jesus Christ. Rufus, come on. Come on, son. Just like Daddy taught you. Run down here. Get involved. You... This... Well done. Okay. 
I'm going to be real with you, Rufus. I like the skeleton more than you, but I'm glad you are here. What would a Josh Drove Hayes metaverse look like? It'd probably look like a YouTube channel called Josh Drove Hayes, followed by a second YouTube channel about retro games called Josh Drive Plays. Then a third YouTube channel about clips from the Twitch stream called Josh Drive Says. Then a Twitch stream. Then a Discord. Then a Twitter. Then an Instagram. Possibly even a fourth YouTube channel called Josh Drive Replays, where I archive all of these streams. Do you think I should archive these streams? People have asked me to archive these streams. Twitch archives them for like six months, which is crap. But if I make a, another YouTube channel just called like Josh Drive Replays, and I just archive all of the old streams so people can go back and watch them, and, you know, five years from now when people are like, I wonder if Josh ever played Skyrim, you can be like, aha, he did. Here is the thing. Might as well just have a VOD channel. Yeah, pretty much. My Skyrim streams are fun. You should archive the streams, please. I need to watch them. Many streams do. It's nice to have. You know what? For you, I will do. Purely for you. And the advertising revenue. Those two things. That's what I'll do. I like how people are in stream like, Oh, he said it. He went there. I've told you, you'll always get one thing on this stream. Honesty. Okay? Honesty. Straight. You will get honesty. I guarantee it. Do we need a Falmer ear? It's, it's food, and I'm very hungry. So we might need to have a little snacky snack. Damage health discovered. Excellent. I, that was actually quite a lot of health damage. Goodness me. I mean, we've all been there, haven't we? The £5 each month will be super helpful in the coming apocalypse. It will. It will. In 10 years, with the stream replay, we can see the misadventures of Twitch chat, the 23rd. Oh, can you imagine when we get round? Because every if you've not been on the stream before, you haven't seen the character's face. So every character that I play as in every game basically comes from the same family. And his face is, is questionable. Like I said, it looks like a cross between Crookshanks and Marilyn Manson. But basically, we make the chin as pointy as we can. You've got to have a pointy chin. Because it's it's basically nature's dagger. That's what it is. You want to headbutt people and do slash damage. That's what we do with the chin. It's what we do with the forehead. All right. That's how we uh, that's how we roll. And then we make the most broken build we possibly can. He's almost as handsome as you. Don't don't you dare call me almost as handsome as him. He is way better looking than I am. Guaranteed. You playing an Ultima? No, just a fucked up Nord. That's the best way to do it. Blunt plus piercing damage. Nice combo. Oh, yeah. I'm very hungry, by the way. Uh, I'm so hungry that you, as you can... Oh, God! Poison! That's not... Wait! Oh, bugger me. I'm about to die. All right, quick. Potion of don't die. Potion of healing. Come on, two, three. Then we... Yes, this is good. Quick healing. Get in there, Rufus. Oh, that was the wrong spell. I, I meant to use unrelenting force, not whirlwind sprint. Let me just change that around a bit. Poison can't kill you on its own. It can in this one. We're, we're playing on survival mode. It can most definitely kill. We, we've died to it before. Winter, thank you very much for the sub. That's remarkably kind of you. The title equals fastest click in the West. Oh, it, my, I hope that I can uh, I can entertain you. That's what I can. Late again. Sorry about that. Jared, like, if you're late again, mate, I'm going to lock the classroom. Right, it's 1943. We've been streaming for 19 minutes. The classroom is going to be locked five minutes after I start, and you can stand outside. If you are late again to a stream, you are going to have to talk to the head of department. And spoilers, the head of department is me. Is it possible to use VoIP to scream shouts into your microphone rather than select them like a caveman? Yeah, VoIP, it is. But you know what? Just because you've said that, I'm going to select everything slowly just to annoy you. That's what I'm going to do. I've not even installed Sky UI. See? I'm still using the old Skyrim. Because I'm, uh, <laughs> if I'm 15 minutes late to the stream, you can legally leave. Yeah, that's that's how it works, isn't it? I've, I've worked in schools and colleges. I know how the law works. You know, my favourite thing is, and I know this is like a random tangent, but my favourite thing is people whose family do a certain job, and therefore they must also be good at the certain job. Because when I said I know how the law works, I've, I've met so many people at university, and they're like, my dad's a lawyer, I, I know how the law works. I'm like, no. Your dad knows how the law works. You just happen to be connected to them. It's so weird that people think they've just got kind of... You don't gain knowledge through osmosis. You don't just stand next to someone smart and then suddenly you become smart as well. I've stood next to a lot of smart people. I'm still dumb as fuck. 
That, that, that's, you don't gain knowledge just by being near someone. Let's just gab you, Mr. Mr. Oh, nope, don't attack me. I'm the hero. There we go. He's Tangent Tavern. YouTube been abandoned. No, Cammy, if you have a look, you'll see that all the Tangent Tavern ones are up. I wish you could gain knowledge through osmosis. It'd be great, wouldn't it? It'd really just stand next to smart people. Just walk into a room. If you're a smart person, you could just charge to be places. That'd be great. Do you reckon his dad would occasionally talk and teach him about it? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. It's just always so strange. You see it in, like, primary schools. Oh, my parents are whatever, therefore I am good. It's like, oh, my dad's a pilot, so I can fly a plane. No. No, your dad can fly a plane. You definitely can't. I wish you would make a cooking channel named Josh Drive Fillets. I feel that I would be too powerful if I did that. That's the problem. I, I'm fully aware of the power that I have. The lack of looting. Josh, check the corpses. I mean, where... Where, where was the last corp? This one just here. Farmer bow, farmer sword, farmer arrow, farmer ear, slaughterfish scales, weak lingering poison. Is my lack of looting annoying you? Okay, hang on. I've taken a farmer sword. Should we have a look at the farmer sword? Hang on. There it is. Look at that. We'll put that just there. See? Just there, right on the floor. That's what we're going to do. Just stick it on the floor. I can stay there. MMO bite. So if I stand next to someone really attractive, something may be attractive too. You know what? That is actually one of the inverse laws. Firstly, MMO Byte, thank you very much for joining me on this stream. One of the premier MMO channels on YouTube. Lovely to have you with us. Let me explain. That's actually known as the inverse ninja law. And this is a law. This is a real thing. Let me explain how it happens. If you have many ninjas fighting one ninja, the one ninja will win. Let me explain why. When you put many ninjas, and if you're here for Skyrim and you think, just shut up and play the game. No, this needs to be explained. If you put many ninjas together, collectively, they actually all share the strength of only one ninja. So if you have ten ninjas, they're actually one-tenth of a ninja each. And if you have one ninja, it's of course the strength of one ninja. So if you put one ninja against ten ninjas, what happens is the first fight, it's basically full strength against a guy at 10% strength, so he'll win. And as you kill the ninjas, the remaining ninjas actually become more powerful you know, by the percentage-wise and stuff. Which is why when you get down to one ninja and one ninja remaining, they are now both at equal ninja strength. That's what it is. What's a group of ninjas called? Trick question. You've never seen a group of ninjas. Only a ninja can sneak up. Wasn't this a film? Yes, it was called The One with Jet Li. It was not a very good film, but it was a film. So to, to loop this back, if you stand next to an attractive person, you actually get compared to how attractive they are. Which is why, and I, I give people this advice all the time, only be friends with people slightly less attractive than you. That's a rule for life. Only do that. Because if you do that, when you stand next to your, you know, friend, we say friends, they're, they're basically, you know, they're helping you out at this point. But when you do that, what will happen is, where am I meant to be going? This place is massive. Okay, I'm just going to keep going this way. When you do that, you actually look more attractive by comparison. In that case, can we be friends? Oh, 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 oh you little, you little jester, you, you little jester. But no, in, in all seriousness, yes, of course we can be friends. This is Josh Drive. This is why we sub. No one subs for the gameplay. The gameplay's crap. Gameplay is subpar at best. Please explore the map a bit more. Oh, you mean like the fact that I haven't, uh, I haven't been into this room up here. So that room is unexplored. I guess it's going to stay unexplored for a bit. I really, really, really want to have some food because having this effect of, you know, the red overlay is, is kind of distracting. I want Skyrim to be colourful, but is there a summon food spell? I'm really hoping there's a summon food spell. If there isn't, I don't want to burn my own skeevers. Let's just get rid of this Churus thingy here. Yeah, let's burn you down, Charus. I've been poisoned, but it's okay. We've got healing abilities. We can heal. Conjure Cheese Wheel. Is there genuinely a Conjure Cheese Wheel spell? I hope there is. If there isn't, I'm going to get it. 
Need a magician from EverQuest 1. We do, actually, don't we? If there isn't a Conjure Cheese Wheel spell, I'm, I'm very disappointed, to be fair. Probably not that exactly. Seems like it's time to eat some bug meat. That is a good point. So it's Charis, Chitin, Eggs. Eggs! Eggs are healthy. Eggs are always good for you. Oh, no. Weakness to poison. Weak. Your son is ugly. I'm aware. Uh, he took all of his looks from his mother. And uh, unfortunately, he took his sarcasm from his mother. Move it, move it. Sh what? Shut up, you. I can knock you down because you can't die. It's not child abuse if they can't die. It's just, it's playtime. It's just very aggressive playtime. That's what it is. Your son has a weak chin. He does. Where is the mother? I don't know. I don't know. Probably off. Off. But that's all I can say. Probably just enjoying another another thrilling chapter of the lusty Argonian maid. That's pretty much all I know for a fact that she's definitely into. I'm going to let my, uh, let my minions do all the work. See, I've, uh, I've worked as management in companies before, so I know that the greatest way to... Oh, River Betty! Fantastic, we can eat you. I've worked as management, so I know the best way to get anything done is just to let all the people below you do it. I'm a pretty good supervisor, because I do very little. I stand there and I supervise people. If any of you have had a boss like me, you'd have been lucky. Did you make a mod list somewhere? No. Here's the conjure food. Player, add item. Thank you for the conjure food one. Because I think that I don't like the redness. That's the only problem. As you can see, I've been uh, messing around with the console commands to change the field of vision or the field of view. F-O-V. Every food in this stream is either damaged health or just poisoned myself. So, Resga, it's player.add item. Hang on. Player.add item at 000. zero, zero. E, B, A, 0, 1, and then 10. Sweet. Apple cabbage stew. My favourite type of stew, to be fair. Oh! Restores. That that doesn't even restore hunger. Literally at all. It, look, 15 points of stamina, 10 points of health. That doesn't even do... I'm still hungry. I'm still completely hungry. What does being a VIP do? Literally nothing. How does stew not restore hunger? Can't spell diet without die. It's just an energy... Yeah, pretty much. With Oh, I can't hurt you with healing. That's true. Yeah, that was basically just the equivalent of drinking a load of monster. That's all it was. Who the fuck combines apples and cabbages? Look, Skyrim is... Oh, no. I didn't know. You're my own skeleton. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I killed my own skeleton. That's not good. I should probably get rid of this Charus and maybe run away. Go, Rufus! Yes, my, I'm going to hide behind my son, as every responsible father would when being attacked by a giant... You have been... Po Whoa! I was going to say, you... Who said you can't die to poison? Who was it? Hand up. Who said you can't die to poison? Because someone was wrong. Someone... Heavy armor? We did level the heavy armor. That was true. Try Ender All sometimes. I will do. I've The mods right now, the skills, I'm using the Ordinator skill perks. Tip, you can craft armor and shields from Charis parts. I am a great supervisor, murders his minions. I, I do well at Amazon. You know, that's the best way to do it. I, I feel that they would definitely appreciate my specific skill, skill set. I can shout at people, tell them to stay in cages. There are different types of poison. Yeah, there's the poison that kills you and there's the poison that kills you slower. That's the best one. Amazon Employee of the Month. Yeah, I would be, wouldn't I? I would be. Come on, skeleton. You and me against the world, man. In all seriousness, I, I do need some... Uh, the food you spawn in console does not restore hunger. The hunger-restoring food replaces all food in the game with the hunger-restoring version. Right. Okay, cool. So we basically need to just find some food from somewhere. So, like in here, harvest bird's nest. Pine thrush egg. That's got to be food. Come on. It, no, we'll eat it. You are drained. Restore stamina. I, I thought that was a bed. I was almost really excited that we could sleep in a bed. But no, we're going to keep going into the uh, the cave a little bit deeper because I mean, there's very little else we can do. What are we doing again? What was our... Reach the Oculory. 
At Mirabel's suggestion, I entered the ruins of Mazult, searching for the Synod researchers. Oh yeah, the Synod researchers need the thing to get the thing to give to the, the dude in the tower to get me the mage robes. That's what we were doing. See? That's what we were doing. If you see sacks on the ground, there's a high chance they have food in it. Right. Grab every sack you see. Oh, it's like university parties all over again. Okay, where are the sacks? That's some sacks in here, maybe. Some sacks in that. I don't know what you guys were getting at, but I was talking about sacks of food, of bags, of books. Okay. I say a perfectly legitimate, nice, family-friendly comment, and all of you, your minds are filthy. They go to the bad places, they go to the wrong places. Yeah. If I say goblin sacks, I'm talking about sacks of goblins, not, you know, gobbling up some sacks. That's... Stop it. Stop having these thoughts. It's a family-friendly stream. Hello, Josh Trifaz. Hello, Cryptic. Welcome to the stream. Ignore all the talk you've just heard. It's not about it. Is there a reason we can't see the video? I mean, you can... Do you mean the fact that I'm I'm playing the game like this? Yeah, it's because my character is hungry in the game, and you... Apparently, one of the things that when I get hungry is I lose my vision. Okay? It's a Rufus-friendly stream. No, no stream is ever nice to Rufus. And we can understand why, because no one likes Rufus. Basket? Cheese wedge! Oh, my God. Cheese wedge, finally. Restores two points of hunger when I've got, like, a you know, thousand points of hunger to redone. That's not good. Falma ear. I'll take you. I'll, I'll eat you if I'm really hungry. If I'm, if that becomes, the, yeah, if it comes to that, if we have to. I've never seen somebody so excited to find cheese on the floor. Clearly, you've never seen me when I'm drunk. Because my, I tell you what, if I was drunk and I was walking around my house and I found some cheese on the floor, it's frickin' Christmas when that happens. That would be the best day of my life. You imagine that, being a little bit pissed. You're walking along, you look down. It's a lovely bit of Wensleydale. All right, I'm going to go off on one for a second. It's not going to take long. Wensleydale with cranberry, objectively the best cheese. Wensleydale with cranberry. You get it normally around Christmas. Absolutely the best cheese in the world. Okay, it's a fact. It's not my opinion, it's a fact. For two reasons. One, it's correct. And two, anything I say as an opinion is objectively true. What about apricot in there? Snag, you're lucky I don't ban you. All right. You say it. The next time you say something so wrong, last thing you say in this stream. Just straight up. Never heard of that cheese in my life, mate. Okay, I'm going to, one day, you're going to eat that cheese. It's going to be great. You're going to have a lovely time. It's going to be brilliant. Type help salmon steak and then add item ID. Okay, so let's see what we can do. So help salmon steak. Unknown variable. S-T-E-A-K. Help salmon steak. Is it one, one word? Salmon steak and then add the item ID. With the, oh, with the things. Okay. Help. And then with the things... Salmon steak. There we go. Cool. What we got? Um, we have got the top number or the bottom number. I'm guessing it's the bottom number that we need. So it's player dot add item. Uh, we want to go zero three zero zero three five four one, and then like ten. See if that adds it. That should give me the. The hunger. Yeah, 220 points of hunger. One, two, three, four, five. We have got color back. See? This is what the game should look like. This is what the game should look like. Today we learn Josh's Wallace. Look, Wallace had a lot of good ideas, right? He hated penguins, legitimately. He had a reason to. They were terrible to him. He had the, he put the wrong trousers on, had some great stuff. I Wallace and Gromit. Wallace was right about a lot of stuff. One of the things he was right about was the right cheese. Wensleydale with cranberry is objectively the best cheese. If anyone ever meets me and wants to be friends, all you got to do, bring me some Wensleydale with cranberry. You know that old meme that says you may fascinate a woman by giving her a piece of cheese? You may fascinate me by giving me a piece of Wensleydale with cranberry. In fact, you know what? That's because if ever I meet any of you, that's what I want. 
If you walk up to me and give me some Wednesday Dale, oh my god, this could be a thing. I've just, I've discovered the code. This is the code, isn't it? This is the code. If I say this, someone will do this at a convention somewhere. I guarantee it. With all the cheese references, you're starting to sound like Top Gear. No. Okay. No. Let's just... Can you knock those back? No, you can't. Top Gear was fun when it was fun. Right, that sentence went a different place in my head. Top Gear was fun when they were focused on having fun and being stupid and just doing silly things. But it, it was fun when it was fun. That's very true. What would you say if someone in the sky is big? Shut up, Goggle. Shut up. Yeah, if, if you meet me and I say what gives you the right to talk to me and you say I brought Wensleydale, absolutely. What about tea? Any recommendations? Well, you can either join Spiff with... Okay, so hang on. This is a master lock. But it's okay. I've seen enough lock-picking lawyer videos to know that the master lock isn't as good... As we all think. Okay, nothing on one. Two is binding. Nothing on three. It was there. It was like, it was basically just there. Oh, that was close. That was really close. Hang on. We actually did it. God damn. Thank you, lockpicking lawyer. I didn't think we'd be able to do that. Search chest. Always amulet of Kiraneth. Cool. Always grab a good chest when you see one, but no, no. I'm going to grab the Mazulft room key, uh, search this skeleton over here, grab some four, yet yeah, no. Clipped and reported, enjoy your ban, nerd. Read the Lunar Lucorn, thankfully. You know what, in Skyrim you actually do gain knowledge through osmosis. You just pick books up and it's like, now you are smart. That's how it works. I wish that's how it works. I have a load of books downstairs I haven't read. Lovely chest ahead. We all know the famous Dark Souls meme. I will play Dark Souls on this stream at some point. There will be a Dark Souls playthrough. I guarantee it. Not sure if it'll be the best to, to re-watch, but it'll happen. Skyrim was really good, wasn't it? Just It just was, let's be fair. It was just a decent game. I'm going to constantly keep summoning this uh, Atronach. Did I level up? No, I need to sleep. I need to find a bed. Rank your Souls favourites, Josh. Oh, my favourite Souls games. My favourite Souls-like games. Obviously the greatest is um, Dark Souls 2. Uh, no, not really. I think that Dark Souls 1 is an incredibly flawed masterpiece. There are bits that are good, bits that are weak, and... Dark Souls 1 was way better than it had any right to be. Bloodborne was also good. But you know what my favourite games was? And no one ever remembers this. Sleep, stone bed. Fantastic. Let's have an eight-hour kip just here. Who played Eternal Ring on the PS2? Did any of you play Eternal Ring? Almost no one played it. I loved it. I thought Eternal Ring was great. You awake feeling rested, but very hungry. Okay, thankfully we can just spawn salmon steak whenever we need it, because we are playing that game now, apparently. Let's just keep quick saving. I saw Lobo stream it. Lobo's played the... Oh, did he? Sweet. I actually genuinely didn't know that, but I bought Eternal Ring for the PlayStation 2 when I was a kid, and it's just... It's not very good. It was intriguing for the time I played it, but looking back now, it's not very good. It's, it's not the greatest of games. But I will definitely do a, sh uh, a should you should you play a was it good kind of thing on it. Oh, the next video on the Josh Drive Plays channel, the was it good channel, is going to be the original Rayman on PlayStation 1. And I would just like to point out, whoever told me to play the original Rayman on PlayStation 1 can go to hell. Because it's really hard. Like, ridiculously hard. And I finished it. I finished the whole game. Because I had to in order to get footage for the video. Because there's almost no high-definition footage of Rayman 1 every level on YouTube. So I couldn't even fake it. The soundtrack is amazing. Rayman 1 is... It tricks you with its whole, you know, child-friendly, fun, happy, clappy looks. And then beneath the surface is just like a complete psychopath. That's what it is. Josh, you seem to be an intelligent individual. So I have to ask, why did you get a gaming chair? 
I'm gaming. You you need to game. You can't game on a regular chair. I've tried it. You buy a regular chair, you sit down, you turn on Skyrim, five minutes later you blink, you're answering emails and making a PowerPoint presentation. And you're like, oh, this is a business chair. It can't be done. I bought a business chair, I sat down, I turned on Supreme Commander, I started moving some units around, suddenly... I'm checking if we can do some blue sky thinking, some out the box thinking, if we can circle around, find the holding pattern, maybe return to this, put a pin in it. And then I'm thinking, oh, I'm just thinking of business lingo. You can't do it. You cannot do it. You know what this chair is right now? This chair is more duct tape than chair. And I've proven this to you before. I've shown you the chair. It's just duct tape. Gaming chairs do suck. But I'm also very cheap. You know why? It's because every time someone drops 50 subs on the channel, I go and buy more Magic the Gathering cards. Oh, Jesus Christ, that wasn't good. People are like, Josh, you should invest. Josh, why aren't you verified on Twitter? Even saying that killed my character. That's how much it hurts. Why aren't you verified on Twitter? Death. That's what happens. Um, no, there's a very specific reason I'm not verified on Twitter, and it's because Twitter is wrong. Twitter isn't brave enough. They, you can't handle the hot takes. That's what it is. I used to tease the spiffing Brit because the spiffing Brit wasn't verified either. And then the spiffing Brit went ahead and got verified. And now those jokes make very little sense. Like those, where is your son? Look, I really don't care. Okay? If he's dead, all that means to me is less child support. No, I, I tried really hard to get verified. I even contacted Twitter and they were like, who are you? And I'm like, I'm a person of interest because that's the only you know, category that I would fall under. And as soon as I click, I'm a person of interest, they just put, we have checked your account. No, you aren't. They don't even check. That's what it is. Would I consider playing Rayman Redemption? At some point, yes. I definitely will. Um, but no, I, I really, I'm, I'm not verified on Twitter because all the cool kids aren't. All the cool ki I tried very hard means you sent one request to Twitter support. Look, I didn't put as much effort into it as you probably think I did. It's your boy, person of interest. No, I, I don't want to be. I don't even want... Oh, leather armor of alteration? Interesting. That might be useful. Potion of magicka, stamina, uh, gold. We'll take that as well. Leather armor of alteration we are definitely taking. Yeah, that might be a useful thing to have. You played the Risen series, not yet. Abe's Odyssey when? Once we have finished Rayman. Once I've done that. Scroll of Hysteria. Okay, fine. We will get the Scroll of Hysteria. We will ca cast it in the middle of a town somewhere. We'll make it happen. It'll be fun. Search the Falmer. Take his ear. I feel like some kind of weird serial killer just taking Falmer's ears left, right, and center. The leather armor got altered at the tailor. Hey, get it, see? Because it's armor of alteration. That's the kind of comedy that I expect from all of you. I'm going to open this door and then step back because uh, there was a trap on the previous one and I don't want to get trapped here as well. To get a blue check mark on Twitter, you need an anime profile picture. Maybe I should just buy an NFT. That's what I should do. Maybe I should buy an NFT profile picture. That way they'll definitely give me a blue check mark, won't they? Moist. Do it. Hello, Josh. I happen to be awake at 3 a.m. after sleeping too early. Oh, that's a silly thing to do. And you end up here. All your decisions have brought you to me. That's a very poor series of decisions you've clearly made. I am angry at Josh for speaking negatively of my favourite MMO. Is that your impression of the entire MMO community? Is that what it was? Just get a profile picture with a blue check mark. Oh man, that is five head strats right there. Should I just change my picture to a blue check mark? Yes, you know what? I'm gonna just put my face on a blue check mark on the back. I don't need your blue check mark. I'm gonna have I'll make my own blue check mark. Blackjack and hookers. Josh, will you ever make a VOD channel? I will die on this hill because I want to watch Dragon Age that I missed. Yes. The VOD channel will start tonight. Josh, can you make a video of Star Trek Online so I can be mad at you too? You know what, before that, why don't we just discuss Star Trek and then you can be mad at me. My favourite character in Star Trek is Captain Adama. I really like how Captain Adama flew the Battlestar Farscape into the Stargate. That was a good episode. I think that was probably the most interesting episode of the whole thing. And then the, uh, 
the Alliance, the Stormcloaks, the Browncoats, they showed up, and then the Reavers came and killed them all, and they had to run away and hide behind the Cylons, who were also teamed up with the Klingons. And then the Emperor turned up for some reason. Don't you love that when I said, somehow, the Emperor survived? That's actually a, a canon bit of Star Wars. It is. And then Dumbledore showed up and said, use the Force, Harry. All that stuff. It is. It's literally... Star Wars honestly went through some, like, 12-year-old fan fiction level of writing for some reason. One of the films legitimately starts with, somehow, the Empress survived. And I'm sat there thinking, I'm sorry, you're a film. Your job is to present the somehow. Like, that's, that's a story right there. I would very much like to see what the somehow was. Please? That'd be great. Oh, man. We are so close to Josh starting to sing Ultimate Showdown. I mean, who else is in Ultimate Showdown? You've got uh, Godzilla. Batman. Hang on, can I do it in, in actual appearance order? Old Godzilla was hopping around Tokyo City like a big playground when suddenly Batman burst in the shade and hit Godzilla with a bat grenade. Godzilla got pissed and began to attack, but didn't expect to be blocked by Shaq, who proceeded to open up a can of Shaq Fu. But Eric Carter came out of the blue and he started beating up Shaquille O'Neal, but then they both got flattened by the Batmobile. But before he could make it back to the Batcave, Abraham Lincoln popped out of his grave and he took an AK-47 out from under his hat and he blew Batman away with a rat -a tat tat But then he ran out of bullets and he ran away because Optimus Prime came to save the day. Do not quote the old magics to me, which I was there when they were written. You know what I thought? If I ever go to a convention, I would sing that song. Do you know how many people would sing that song? Like five. Like out of everyone. No. What did I just hear come out of his mouth? One of the greatest songs ever created by humans. I like your Metaverse video. Thank you very much, Sham. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're having a lovely day. Dark Souls 1 did a Chosen One prophecy right. Yeah, pretty much. The Chosen One prophecy is anyone could do this, but you're probably not the one. That is the best way to do a Chosen One. That's like a reverse Chosen One. It's basically saying, hey, one person is going to save us, but we're not going to know who that person is until that person saves us. And then when that person saves us, we're all going to turn around and go, hey, it was obviously you. That's the best way to do this. And that is easily the best way. So excited to catch you live for once instead of watching all the clips. Well, thank you very much to the Prime sub. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're having a lovely time. Um, you're like a B-Tech Henry Cavill. Oh, it hurts, but it's true. It is. I'm like Henry Cavill's stand-in. You know when your gran goes to the supermarket and there's a bargain bin bucket of DVDs? And you really wanted Transformers, but she gets your Transmorphers. Or you really wanted you know, something like Battle Los Angeles, and she gets you Battle for LA. Like a knockoff version of the film. That's what it is. I feel that if you picked up the Superman, you'd just get me instead of Superman, which would be the Henry Cavill version. I am the We Have Henry Cavill at Home. That's what it is. But the thing is, I'm, I'm versatile. Because people say, hey, you know, can we... We need to employ someone who looks like Rob Stark, Henry Cavill, and Richard Ma Richard Madden, and uh, who's the, the small one from Top Gear? Richard Hammond, that's the one. If someone walks up to you and says, we really need to combine Richard Hammond and Henry Cavill together, who are we going to work with? I'll just stride in and be like, hello there. I heard you need someone who looks a little bit like Richard Hammond, and a little bit like Henry Cavill, and a little bit like Richard Madden, but isn't actually as good as any of them. I'm like the... It is the perfect example of you know not exactly adding up to the sum of the parts. That's what it is. People will look at me and go, you remind me of... That's it. I love it when people... People will look at me and they will say, you remind me of many more famous, more successful people. And I'll look back and go, thanks. That's what I want. That's what I've tried to live my life to do. 
Josh, you're looking very juiced today, King. Thank you. I drank my orange juice earlier. You got me addicted to Final Fantasy XIV. I want to apologise. I will not apologise for getting you addicted to the uh, multi-award winning, critically acclaimed MMORPG Final Fantasy XIV, which features a free trial up to level 60 with unlimited playtime and the Heaven's Ward expansion pack. Okay. Josh is like 2 plus 2 equals 3, 5, but let's be real. Yeah, we deserve a 1 to 4. That's what it is. Free trial is paused for now. Yeah, because you guys just bought too much stuff. This lock requires a key and it cannot be picked. Okay, so we, we basically need to find a key from somewhere. If I were a key, where would I be? Yeah. If I were a key, I'd probably be over here in this kind of room. Let's go and have a check over here. I think Guild Wars 2 is better. Guild Wars 2, Elder Scrolls Online, Final Fantasy XIV, RuneScape. I mean, we're not going to... This is a master lock. We're not going to be able to pick a master lock, are we? Okay. We might be able to pick a master lock. Okay, so that was right there. What about slightly above? Nope. What about slightly below? I'm using the icons on the left of the screen as positions to put this. So I'm now putting it on the second notch. Ah, which means it now needs to be between the first and the second notch to about there. Ladies and gentlemen, check me out. And that leads us to a chest, and this gets Wolf Dadao. Interesting. Wolf Dadao. To me, Dadao just sounds like the thing the backing dancers in Little Shop of Horrors say. And then he came at me with a wolf. Dadao. In the background. That's what it is. Dadao. Dadu. That will not do. You can stay there. I don't want that. That's my fasona. Hey, what you want to do in your own time is entirely up to you. Okay. I saw you talking about aiming to make the best movie video game. I have an objection. You must have stood up and shouted objection like Phoenix Wright. As an interactive design student, I was told that even if I figure out the best system and solve all the problems, the budget limits what's able to be done. So you begin to cut out major stuff. Yes, limitation breeds creativity. That is one of my favourite sayings. I will tell it to everyone. Limitation breeds creativity. Work and create the best thing you can within the limits that you have. That is, that is absolutely true for everyone. Find what you are limited by and work within that. That's absolutely fine. You can work within the limits that you've got. I get that. I understand that that's, uh, that's the reality. That is the complete reality of... So, reach the Olicure. The Olicure is that way. But I need a key. Where the frick is the key? Oh, man. Maybe... Hang on. There was a room back this way, wasn't there, that we didn't go into? The room that killed me last time. Let's go and try and find that. And see if I can grab that. Limitation breeds creativity. It does. It absolutely does. Hello, Apollo. My dog has come to join us. I think he wants to say hello to everyone. Hang on, let's just uh, pop him up and say hi. Bottom, come here. Come on, I know that you want to say hello to everyone. Oh, you big fluffy boy. For those of you who haven't been on the stream before, this is Apollo. Apollo, wave to people. He's a very chilled out dog. He's a very chilled out dog. He, there's an emote of Apollo on the uh, on the Twitch chat. That's what there is. Are you, are you just here to, to chill for a bit? And you're here to just hang out and have a cuddle? You know, just have a little massage? Is that what we're here for? He's a big floofer. He's a big floofy boy. He's a very relaxed floofy boy. That's what he is. Hey, Josh, has Rufus? Rufus is good. Okay? I love Apollo way more than Rufus. In fact, I love Apollo. I don't love Rufus. That's how much more... Hello? You hear me say your name? You hear me say your name? Yeah, you did. You are a sleepy boy, so you need to go and find your bed and have a nap. Go on. You can go and have a nap. He's going to have a nap. He's going to chill for a bit. I'm telling Rufus. Fine, tell him. He'll be glad that someone's talking to him. Okay? You can tell Rufus that I don't like him. Rufus will speak. Then what happens is he will have a friend and you will forever be stuck with him. Has he been in the freezer lately? We, we take him out every now and again. That's what we do. Rufus will pickpocket you. It's the only way that me and him have any contact. Okay? He's trying to find if uh, my love for him is anywhere. But he won't find it. Doesn't exist. Uh, Rufus Josh says he doesn't like you. That's true. It's 
Like, it's not that I don't like Rufus. It's that I don't think about him or acknowledge his existence at all. That's the uh, the best way to consider it. Unlock trap trigger expert. Let's just open the door, trigger it, and move back. There we go. And then let's do that. And then let's get my, my skeever boys in. Oh, goodness me, you are a big boy, aren't you? Goodness me, you are a big boy. Hello, mate. Thanks for the great content. Maybe TTV, you are more than welcome. Thank you very much for popping by to say hi. Here from Josh's second YouTube channel. How does Rufus not die? Uh, tenacity, belief in himself, um, the blessing of the dark gods at some point. I feel that we're about to die, so I might get some healing going on. Wait, there we go. Um, Rufus is my punishment, the power of friendship. He's my punishment, that's what he is. Local child too pathetic to die. Spot on. I've got you in picture in picture while I play. Is that better than second monitor? No, it's not. It's not allowed. Am I playing with... What was that? What was that? That's not what. That's not allowed. That is... That wasn't fun at all. Shut up. Alright, if you're in the chat, just stop talking. Yeah, I don't want to hear your opinions. I don't want to know what you think about it. You're here to watch me play a game, not comment on me playing said game. Stop having fun. If you're having fun in this stream, I would like you to leave right now. Respect my boundaries and leave. Okay? Let's just uh, trigger the door, move back quickly. Trigger that and then get the hell away. There we go. You can uh, do everything. Yeah, Rufus, in you go, mate. Rufus, go that way. Off you go, Rufus. There we go. This is the Rufus bomb. Every now and again, we just like to... Rufus, you're not attacking. I need you to attack far more... There we go. Attack the fledgling. Lovely st Oh, good lord, that is a lot of damage. Let's get... In you go, skeleton. Sweet. Oh, I don't like this at all. Oh, this is like a Benny Hill sketch. Look at him go. Yeah, whoa, that's not fun. Let's put my... My flame atronite. Yes! Now he's on Rufus. Now Rufus can't die and Rufus holds aggro like an absolute boss. So now I can start to burn you down with a little bit of ice. And then I run out of mana and have to run away. See? What shaving kit do I use? I just... I have a, a samurai sword that I bought from a car boot sale. Folded over a thousand times. I just use a, a leather strop, sharpen that up and then get to work. Pretty much. That's how I do it. It's a Hanzo sword. Yeah. It's a replica of the sword that they used in Kill Bill. I'm running you in the background on my phone. That's good. That's correct. Did I hear that Jmod Osborne has left Jagex? I did not hear that, but I heard good things about Osborne. Lawnmower. Yes, yeah, the lawnmower. That's what I use. Just a very sharp steak knife. Um, no, in all seriousness, I obviously use only the softest. Only the Spell Tome, Candlelight, Conjure Familiar, Staff of Sparks. Only the softest, because my, my face needs to be gentle. Gentle on your face, obviously. How is this game still around? It's impressive. Butter knife, pretty much a butter knife. Any of those blades that come with like three or four strips, so if you like chamomile and aloe vera, that kind of stuff. Uh, but no, I'm going to be real with you. In all seriousness, I use the free Manscaped razor that they sent me ages ago and then asked me to do a second advert for because they lost the demographic for the first advert. And I was like, <laughs> no, I've already got the razor. Why would I do it again? I know. No, this is what happened. Manscaped contacted me and said, hey, yeah, come on up to Callum as well. And they said, hey, we're going to send you a free thing. Can you just use it and say if it's any good on the Tangent Tavern Twitch stream? So I got it. I used it. It's all right. And I said, it's all right. Here's a code they gave us. You know, you can go and buy it. And a couple of weeks later, they got back to me and Cal and said, hey, guys, a bit of an issue. The code that we gave you seems to have been leaked. So we can't tell how many people actually bought it from you. And I thought, it's a public code you've given me. That you wanted me to tell people the code. There were a thousand people on the Twitch stream that I gave the code to. Someone's going to put it on honey. Someone's going to put it on something somewhere. And they're like, oh, we, we can't have people knowing about your code. I'm like, what the frick do you expect? And then they said, can we give you another code and you do another shout out? And I'm like, no. Don't get me wrong. Your razor's really good. 
but I'm not doing multiple adverts for you. So that's the truth. Right, Magicka, health or stamina? I think we go with more health. Let's go with some more health. What do we level up? We've got one perk to increase. Conjuration is... We're closing in slowly. Oh, it requires 60 for more of these. You loot 60% more bones and recover 50% more bones when you destroy a creator. Skeletons last 75% longer. Yes, please. Able to create skeleton mages at a bone altar. Should we create an army of skeleton mages? I think we should do this. It seems like a thing we should do. Yeah, let's go with an army of skeleton mages. That seems like a broken mechanic and absolutely something I would like to do. Uh, right. We still need to find the key that gets us into the main room. Where the frick is the key? They will block every door. That's fine, because you can actually talk to them and you can destroy them from it or shove them out the way. See? You can talk to them and shove them out the way. It's fantastic. Uh, the Felma Mage Corpse. Right. Where's the Mage Corpse? Is the Mage Corpse down there? Is that the one? Falmer? Nope. Staff of Firebolts. Is there a Mage Corpse over here? Falmer. War Axe and War Shield. Was there another Falmer that we missed? Or was it in the other room? I bet it. In the main room where the locked door is. Yeah, because the keys are pretty much always close to the doors, aren't they? They're not... This is not like Morrowind levels of confusing. Because that was a very confusing game to play. The mechanic is only broken if it's not fun. That's true. Thank you. Sarah's, good morning to you. Welcome to the stream. We can always find another volunteer. Yes. We can always just find somebody else. Okay, let's go and try and find the, the Falmer Mage Corpse. Why am I so good? You know what? I've had a good day. I've met some good people. I think I've made some friends. I think I can chat to people. You know what? And I've said this repeatedly. One of the hardest things to do as an adult is make friends. Because as a kid, it's so easy. You just walk up to someone and say, hey, do you want to be friends? And they look at you and they go, yeah, it's done. That's it. As an adult, you walk up to someone and say, do you want to be friends? And they look at you like you've just shot a baby or something. They look at you like you've just kicked a cat out of the way to get to them. Like, how do I do this? What, what do you want me to do to get to you? How do I make this work? It, it's strange. So the great thing about today... Hey, fish. The great thing about today was I was able to walk up to people and be like, hey, you're a bit geeky, you're a bit nerdy, we should hang out together. And they looked at me and they said, that's a good idea. And then we had friends. That's it. I love that. That's how it works. That's how more people should become friends. So I am in a good mood. I'm in a good mood because I believe today was a positive mental day. That's what I believe. Where the frick is this Falmer corpse? Is it... Is that just there? Are you there? Where are you, Falmer mage? Because that's a... That's a gloom lurker. Was it in this room over here, maybe? Somewhere? Basically, the power of friendship. Yeah, pretty much. Take the crystal. Oh, is it the crystal thing over here? The Falmer gloom lurker. Focusing crystal. Is the focusing crystal used to open this door? I don't know. Let's find out. Nope. Requires a key. Unless the focusing crystal is needed for something. The farmer mage has the focusing lens for later. I see. Have you played the game before? Many years ago. Many, many years ago. So, uh, opposite the locked door is where the key is. Oh, straight down there. Okay. Yeah, many, many years ago. So, I finished it ages ago. I've not... Uh, I can't remember it. I can remember the fight with Alduin, that's pretty much it. But I can't remember most of the things. Oh, this is new. This is a nice big room. This is interesting and new. I'm sure that nothing bad will happen if we pop down here. Oh, it's a book. I don't need to read you. Books are for nerds, as we all know. What's in this room over here? We're in the Midlands. I'm near Nottingham. I can get it to Nottingham. I can... Uh, the game does look its age. I've been ported 9,000 times. It doesn't look terrible, but it's not aged super well, to be fair. You know, there, are, there are games that have aged better, to be fair. I get the same amount of playtime. Oh my god, I hope we do. I really hope we do. Do I have any book recommendations? Thank you. I'm glad that you've come to me for that, because I, I do consider myself a fountain of knowledge when it comes to books. 
Okay, so what are you after? Are you after adventure? Are you after romance? Are you after mystery? Let me give you a good one for adventure. The Very Hungry Caterpillar. All right? Guy was really hungry. You have no idea how hungry. And what happened was he goes on an adventure to eat enough food that he doesn't feel hungry anymore. What about mystery? Okay, if you want mystery, the book you need to read is The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Because he keeps eating food, but is he going to get full? Who knows? It's a mystery. You've got to keep reading until, you know, until the, the secret is revealed. When will he get full? Who knows? Erotica. The Very Hungry Caterpillar. But you do need to read it for the subtext, okay? It also really helps if you're into feeding, if you're going to read it for that book specifically. Okay, I mean, there's, there's probably other choices, but uh, people in the chat are like, he went there. This is what you... I've told you before, like I said earlier, when you come to this chat, you get three things. You get casual abuse of a ginger child, you get discussion of ancient, you know, powerful literature, and you get occasional discussion of Caterpillar Erotica. It's just... Oh, Tribunal Mask Gold. That's pretty bad. At value 300. Sweet. We're not carrying too much. Okay. Um, Rufus, I don't want to give you anything because I don't trust you with anything. Uh, what I will do, that I, I think I'll just throw away probably some staffs at some point. Miscellaneous. Misc. Why am I carrying a basket? Let's get rid of you. Baskets are not necessary. Ebony ore is... Oh, where's the gold mask? Hip bone, bones, bones, rib cage. Ruined book is pointless. Skull. Wolf pelt is pointless. Where there was the mask? It was apparel, wasn't it? Because you can wear it. Oh, yeah, of course. Tribunal gold mask. It's, it's cool. Warmth rating is actually better. Hang on, so... The warmth rating is actually... Oh! I didn't realise that it goes under your helmet. My cat is also meowing for uh, for stuff. Okay, so, right. I thought that it would go somewhere else. We have... I mean, I know it would go on my face. I, was, I got the general area, but I thought that it would replace your helmet. Interesting. You have now become a bionicle. Yeah, I've now turned into Jojo. Fantastic. I'll take that. Uh, ancient Nord Arrow. No. S food. Let's just eat some salmon meat, some salmon steak. Um, some potions. I probably don't need weak stamina poison. That's, that's probably... Why am I carrying so much poison on me? I'm not a poisonous person. I'm going to get rid of all that poison. See, we're being good people now. Good boys and girls. Creep. Let's just... From now on, all we need to do is carry good potions with us. Reject my humanity. Is that from Jojo? I haven't seen Jojo enough. I play God Eater. Poison for Rufus. <laughs> oh, if only. If only. I've tried. He can't die. All right, my God knows I've tried to kill him. But he just keeps coming back. Agonard, welcome to the stream, man. How are you doing today? I'm not toxic, says the MMO Slayer. Look, it's not my fact these games die. Who is my favourite Jojo? Ooh, that's a good question. Do I answer seriously, or do I answer in a way that I know is going to trigger the Jojo fans? Um, ah, it's a good question. What should? How, how do you trigger the Jojo fans? How? Because those guys are just so chill anyway, don't you? There's no real... Probably, yeah, probably Mojo from the Powerpuff Girls. He is most definitely my favourite Jojo. Uh, it's just an interesting character. Just a good, good guy. Good um, character development, good plot, good story. Hey Josh, you're a fan of ESO. Yes, I was. I was curious. You had an opinion on the bastardization of the vampire skill line and certain class designs in that game. You know what? I haven't played it enough to really give a genuine deep opinion on that. I would love to be able to give you a more deep answer, but I, I don't feel confident in my knowledge that I would be able to work from a place of any authority on it right now. I would need to replay it 
and I would need to rework out how it plays now. So I'm sorry that I can't give you a more detailed answer, but I'm also someone who will very honestly say I don't know when I don't know. What? Yeah, get the door. Petraeus, thanks, man. It's not Davros. It was death. Your friend Gavros is dead. I came looking for the Synod. Let's just tell him that we came looking for the Synod. Uh, I want the Synod because... Yeah. Hang on, what do you want about a crystal? Mate, I found a crystal. Won't be too cold. You want a focusing crystal, do you? I found one. Look at this. How in the world? I just looted people. Who am I? I'm with the college. I am with the College of Winterhold, mate. Don't worry. Trust me, I'm a teacher. I've even got a mug that says those exact words. Trust me, I'm a teacher. One of my students bought me that mug. Hi, Josh. Question unrelated to the game. Do you still practice martial arts? Uh, no. I've not had enough time recently, unfortunately. I would love to. I genuinely would love to. But, uh, no, just... Cabbages! Oh, my God. Gourds. Bread. Oh, wheels of cheese. It is Christmas. Fanta... I'm full. Doesn't matter. Let's just eat bread, cabbage, goat, and then... The Dragonborn ate five cheese wheels and twelve loaves of bread, and he didn't shit for a month. That's the part they don't tell you. That's the part they leave out. All right. Do you know what armoured fighting is? Of course I know what armoured fighting is. It's where you fight using your arms. Everyone knows that. The great thing is that you can actually counteract the constipation gained from eating only cheese and bread by eating a load of uncooked fish, which gives you stomach flu. It's not the nicest way to do it, but it does work. Hey, what's this massive metal ball thing, mate? This is, uh, this is looking a little bit o ominous here. My oms are being nussed. Rufus, can you shut your face? There we go, sit down. It's a shame that you can't kill Rufus, because it would improve my life dramatically. Did I just ask him about his huge balls? Look, I'm a confident guy, okay? I'm a confident guy. If I've got a question, I'm just going to ask him. Let them fight. Typical British butler. Good looking, good dressed, and could kill you with his bare hands. <laughs> we all take after Alfred. All oh, right, okay. So this is where we get to play with the dwarven balls, isn't it? You're hoping it'll be worth it, mate. Place the crystal in the center. All right, so I'm going to assume center apparatus. You mean that bit over there, not just... Oh, no, you mean this bit just here. Can we... There we go. Bonked the crystal just there. Rufus, get off the centuries-old automata. Autonomata, that was not the right word. Automaton. Ru Rufus, can you can you move? I'm going to activate it with you on, son. It's going to mash you up. Oh, no, you fell over. Good job. Why well, are dwarf balls so big? They're overcompensating. That's what it is. Yes. So let's now activate the button. We are activating the button. We've, we've pressed that. Maybe we should activate this button. Maybe. Oh, that does that. And now what about this button? All three but Oh, oh no. That's not good. It seems that it's not the correct way. Do we need to spin this round? Ah, I see. I bet we need to find the correct combination of buttons. You've got to push the dwarves buttons in the right way to really make their balls work. That's what you've you've got to do. I need you to all get your head out the gutter. Okay? That is not what I meant by that. You know it's not what I meant by that. So look at that, see? Everything's lined up. That looks great. What about pressing this one again? Oh, hang on, no, everything's not lined up. But it seems that the outside and the inside are lined up. So now it's... Oh, no, they aren't lined up, are they? 
Oh, interesting. So now it's just the middle bit, is it? The middle bit was that one. Just keep spinning the middle one around till it sits. Is that... Oh, come on, that's definitely lined up. Look at it. Rufus, shut your face. What about this? Dwemering... Spelltome Flames. Spelltome Frostbite. This is a puzzle. Oh, this is my weakness. Thinking. The circles. Hang on. We will do the circles in a minute. Let me just read these books. Spell tomes. I think. I already know a few of these. So let's drop flames and frostbite. Right, we're lining up the circles, are we? Oh, hang on, I see. So we spin the middle one round. Until... Ah, ha, ha, ha. All right, guys. Hang on a tick. I think we've got this one. We need to press the middle one again till that thing is just there. Is that... That's not on it yet, is it? Okay. That needs to be moved. That's not in the right place at all. Because there is no... Ah, hang on. That bit needs to be there, doesn't it? So we need to move this one a couple of times till we get to it. Magic the crystal. Pretty sure you don't need to do that. Look, see? Oh! Oh! Oh, I see. Right, so we, we magic the crystal to move that thing. To th that, that's not right either. We need to keep it moving, do we? Let's magic it over here. Do you have to magic the right one? Or is that now correct? That's basically right. It's not right, though, is it? I am not very good at this. If you're here for a, a really quick, fast Skyrim playthrough, you, you maybe you sh you're going to be disappointed. Okay? I'm not going to lie to you. Use, f use fire. <gasps> is the game that clever? No way. Oh, my goodness. Todd Howard, you've done it again. Okay, so we need to just... Every time you do that, it moves a little bit. Perfect. We've made it. Todd, you magnificent bastard. Let's just move this one round. That's the, that the top one. Yeah, the top one's got to be over there. Okay. Keep moving the top one round. My wife say, if I don't get, you apologize. Saras, I mean, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to apologize, mate. I don't even know what I've done wrong, but I'm not going to apologize. It's like when someone walks up to me and says, uh, you know, can I talk to you? I'll look at them and be like, no. No, you cannot. I don't know what they're going to say. Or what I've done. Or even if it's anything bad. But I immediately get on the defensive. That's what I do. Apologise to the terror guy. He got a whole video. Alright? He got a whole video. The video got put on the clip channel. It got reacted to as well. Now, there's a reaction out there. I'm pretty sure it was Vox, wasn't it, that reacted to it really well. It was super funny, by the way. Really enjoyed him. Really enjoyed that, genuinely. The dude is a fantastic reaction content streamer. Sweet. We have made some dwarven lasers. What is this? Oh, in interesting. That. That is there. Look at that. Oh, something is causing interference, you say? Something in Winterhold. What do you want about me? So what, is it? what have I done? I just I moved the things around. Where do I find the original Terror video? It's on the Clip channel. It's called The Terror Incident. Why is my kid playing with fire? Because they haven't died from it yet. I'm still hoping there's still time. Trax, welcome to the stream, man. Hopefully you're having a lovely day. Am I playing with any mods? So many. So many. Mate, did I do something wrong? Go wrong. Everything is wrong. Everything. Whatever you have at the college has interfered with our work. I, I don't know, mate. I really have no idea what you're on about. You have something at your college, don't you? I don't know what you're on about. Okay? Oh, the Eye of Magnus. The Eye of Magnus? Well, yeah, I mean, that's, well, that's there. We've got that. Can you... Look, can you help me find the staff of Magnus, mate, or not? Are you going to give me the staff? Why don't you... Rufus, just sit down. Okay? Men are talking right now. 
The adults are talking, Rufus. Go and play with traffic or something. I have seen the Ori. That was a pretty cool thing. Out of the way, kid. Yeah, pretty much. Just... I'm trying to listen. I'm trying to... I'm trying to pay attention. Rufus is so intense. I want a sorry for you. You want a sorry for me? There's a long queue of people you got to get behind, mate. I am sorry. Can you paralyze Rufus? We can try. Look, mate, I have literally no idea who you are or what you want. The, the staff of Magus is in the Labyrinthian. Oh, sweet, thanks. Cool. Well, I think you've been here a bit too long, mate, as well. Okay, I'm just going to leave you alone for a bit. I think we are done here. Can I pickpocket you? Just going to quick save the game. Rufus, you fell over your own shadow. Because your IQ is in the negative. Oh, right. Okay, cool. So we need to leave now. We need to leave. I think we leave via... How do we get out of here? How do we leave again? Oh yeah, there's probably some, some bits down here. There we go. You're in Blackreach right now. Not yet. That is a quick way of, uh, of going down. I mean, if there's one thing we're good at, it's going down quickly. Not like... That was a jump to make that sexual, but just don't, okay? Just don't. Grow up. It's a family stream. We're going to go with the Kanja Flame Atronach and Flames. There we go. Clip it again. No. Have I been to Blackreach before? I think all of us, in many ways, have been to Blackreach before. I have, genuinely, but I've, I've finished the game before, but it was a long time ago. It was a hell of a long time ago. What the hell? You have done well thus far, but trying times are ahead. Thanks, ghost dude. It is imperative that you return to your college at once. Go back to the college? You will be called on to take okay, then. Rise to the challenge and discover I see you, I see you. The game released a few weeks ago. It did, didn't it? The game released a few weeks ago. It's a family, yeah, it's a family abusing stream. Because, I mean, look. There we go. Ah, Rufus is my punishment. Unlock Skyrim. Literally unlocked all of Skyrim. Hello, skeleton. You are my friend. Off we pop. Do I have enough bits to make another skeleton? Just out of curiosity. One... Two, three, four, five, six. I don't. I need left leg. Okay, cool. If we spot a human, we need to kill them because we need to get a left leg. Report to Savas Aren. Do we have to go back round to get to that bit again? Is that. It said report to Savos, and now it's telling me to go back in here. I thought Savas Aren was back at the, the thing. Like, where? Is it telling me to go back that way? Sky Skyrim. Cleared. I have cleared all of Skyrim. So where is Savos Aran? At the college. Yeah, he's at the college. I don't know what you guys are... This is obviously a bug. It's a bit of a glitch. I've cleared Skyrim. Literally all of it. The whole thing is done. I don't know what you guys want of me, but I've, I've basically finished. Uh, we need to go to Windhelm, don't we? So let's go to Windhelm Stables, which is the Bone Altar. The Bolter. Let's move it to there. We're going to go back. In fact, if I think the air is treacherously cold. Right, you know what that means? That means if I die, if I'm out here too long, I'm going to die. That's what this means. Because I'm playing on survival mode, and if you stay in the cold too long, you die. So I think we have to go this way. I've got to get down away from the cold air, first of all. And when I'm out the cold air, and I'm back on the lovely, warm, groundy bit, I should be able to run all the way back. Surprise. All the way back to the college. And, yeah, we are doing a necromancer run, by the way. Hug the skeletons for the warmth. And when you die in the game, you die in real life. Skyrim is the Matrix. The Matrix is Skyrim. Todd Howard, he, he demanded it be realistic. Did I be Skyrim King of the Nords? Not yet. Not yet. I'm going to put the hands away and run a little bit quicker. I 
think we're making yeah, we're making good progress. Why is my custom destination not showing up on the map? Like the mini map to the top of the screen, I'm pretty sure it's meant to have your custom destination on, isn't it? But for some reason, it's not showing up. Since you're the person outside the game, does that make you the architect of the Matrix? Yes, it does. Doesn't it have a maximum distance? I don't think so, because I'm trying to get to Windhelm, which is over... Kind of, You can see it from here. Windhelm's just over there. I'm pretty sure you're meant to be able to see your personal marker quite easily. Oh, there we go. Take the wolf down. Oh, another wolf. Take it on with the skeevers. Good stuff. I had to drop the difficulty down from Legendary, because Legendary wasn't fun. I realised that. Finally watching the stream. Hello from Russia. Hopefully you are having a good time. Thank you very much for joining us. How's your day going? Two sources of fire is greater than one source of fire. Yes, it is. Right, so I think we're just going to go kind of north now. Yeah, pretty much just straight north. Then we'll get... I. If I quick save the game... If I... See, 40 bounty has been added. 40 bounty removed. All I need now is your leg. You don't have one. You don't have a leg. All right. Happened to kill the only walking farmer who doesn't have a leg. Have you checked your pack for secret... No, not yet. Can you use Rufus as a sled? Well, that would make him somewhat useful, so probably not. He has no legs. He has no legs, and yet he must walk. What do I think of the fact they added a, a collectible card game into The Elder Scrolls Online? Well, people forget that The Witcher 3 was basically just Gwent with a massive adventure added onto the side. When people say to me, you know, did you enjoy The Witcher 3? Yeah, I thought that the, the plot was irrelevant, but the card game bit was great. The main game was fantastic. Alright, cool. Uh, yeah, I, I need to, uh, you got, you got sale. I need to buy some food off you. 220 points of hunger, 18 points of hunger, 220 points of hunger. I just need hunger stuff, to be honest. Zan, thank you very much for the sub. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're having a lovely day today. Now I've got all of the food and I've quick saved again and my skeletons are looking lovely. We're going to pop back outside, grab ourselves a little skeleton mage. That's what we're going to do. Oh, good. Now my, uh, now my little thing shows up. So the altar, the bone altar, is straight north from where we are now. So just run north in a straight line. Jump over the fence. Jump. 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 Jump over the fence. Jump, jump over the fence. And now run north in a straight line. It just works. It does just work. That's true. Fence is greater than me. I take offense to that. Some of you are watching this stream without being subscribed, and I don't think you appreciate the comedy genius that you're being exposed to. Okay? I'm just exposing myself all up in this stream. There is comedy, there is hot comedy flying at your face every single day. You have no idea, apart from the days that I don't stream. All right. That made me laugh, at least. Good. I'm glad something did. I'm steaming hot piles of comedy everywhere. That's what it is. It's perfect. It is a, a comedy massacre up in here. Let's go to Shouts and stick on uh, Whirlwind Sprint, because I really don't want to be in the water. Because if you're in the water, you get cold and you die. Uh, legitimately, you do. That's uh, a thing that happens because we're running the survival mod. And when you're in the water, you get cold and you die. So left leg, wasn't it? I think we had everything apart from left leg. I'm pretty sure. We had left foot. Yeah, so left leg. Did I put it in the sack of bones? <gasps> left, left foot, left arm, left hand, right... Oh, God damn, it's the one bit we don't have. We, yeah, we don't have a left leg. Need something? Do you have a left leg? Nah, rib, six rib cages. Six rib cages? What the frig is he doing? 
Josh, why do you constantly expose yourself? It's the only way I can get any kind of attention. So, if we just save the game here, and then we summon that, and then kill you. Yes, Rufus, go for it. Alright, cool. Can we steal your left leg? Right leg. You only, you know, it's not even worth killing you. I'm going to quick save and quick load. He is ribbed for my pleasure. It's not even worth killing you, mate. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put all of the stuff I've got. Twitch chat of the third. All of the misc is going in there. I'm going to go with hip bone. You can't, I don't want to, I want to store it. Hip bone, left foot, rib cage, skull. Okay, so they're all stored in there. Everything is stored. We just need the left leg. So we can find a left leg at some point. Why not take the ribs? You know what? Fine. We'll take the ribs. We'll take all six ribs. We're carrying too much. That's fine. We'll put the ribs in the sack. Not using Sky UI hurts my soul. That's why I don't do it. I thought I could download Sky UI, but it would really annoy Green Egg if I didn't. And that... From that moment on, I decided I was going to do everything in my power to make this stream as annoying as possible for you specifically. Okay. Now, you might think that it's a little bit uh, vindictive on my end, but yes. that's just how I roll. That's just how we do things here. So I need to go back to the college, the College of Winterhold, which means I need to get the cart. No fast travel, by the way. No fast travel. Josh, tell us some life knowledge. <laughs> You know what? I will. I will. What life knowledge do you want? I'm here to improve your life. What, what do you want me to improve? How do you want me to improve it? Look, this is the air. Uh, yeah, see how fast the health goes down because of that. The permanent health decrease. What's your knowledge? Life is a puddle. It's shallow as hell. Okay, look. Right. Life is like a box of chocolates. Sometimes it contains nuts. Some of them have soft strawberry centers. Some of them are that soft fudge, which is nice, and you like that. And some of them are the hard toffee, which no one really likes, but everyone tolerates. They normally get left at the end and then you eat them. And with life being like a box of chocolates, sometimes it's like the good box of chocolates, like a Thornton's box, where everything is individually in the little bits where it's meant to be, the kind of plastic tray. And sometimes it's like a crap box of chocolates, like a knockoff Quality Street or a knockoff Roses, but they're individually wrapped and you can you still enjoy them, but they're not as good. And sometimes life is like the purple ones, because there's a nut in the purple ones, but it's okay because they're covered in caramel. And sometimes you open the box, and this is the true, true essence of life. Life is like a box of chocolates, but sometimes when you open the tin that you've just seen, it's actually full of sewing supplies. And that's disappointing. And that is the essence of life. Sometimes it's sewing supplies. That's what I remember. That's what I remind myself of every time. Every time someone says, hey, here's a, here's a box of chocolates, part of me's thinking, I bet it's sewing supplies. Yeah? <laughs> the, guy on the, the guy on the car, I'm talking to him. I'm actually telling all of this to Rufus. And all of this, life lessons to Rufus right now. That's what's happening. Okay, the air is treacherously cold. We are extremely cold. We're extremely hungry. So we're going to pop into this frozen hearth. We're going to eat. We're going to sleep. And the sewing supplies is a metaphor for how you need to fix your life. That's what it is. Right, we've got for sale, mate. Sell me some food. Hang on. Sale. Food. Apple pie. That's good. Yep, chicken breast. That's good. Ooh, hawker loaf. Sweet. This is nice. Now let me rent a room, because I want to rent a room. Cool. Show me to the room, mate. You should present esports events, especially the filling parts when tech doesn't work. I have told them that I would prevent. Prevent? Yeah, I would prevent esports. That's what I would do. Not, not present. 
that's difference. I would prevent esports. I would actively work against the continuation of esports. I'll be damned. I'll be darned if I ever fix my life. Can we just take a second to appreciate how clever what he just said is? I'll be darned, as in darning a sock. Rufus, move the frick out the way. Okay. There we go. That was. I got that. I got that. I thought you were very clever. Okay. The thing is, if I if I presented esports, like I wouldn't even know what to say. That's. I should host the next League of Legends tournament, and I should be like, "Ooh, and we've got Darius in mid, and he's gonna jungle, and oh, he's feeding all the minions, and they'd look at me like, Josh, the match hasn't even started. No one's playing Darius. Okay, no tactics have happened yet." And I'll be there like, oh, well, the tower's going to come down and they're going to use the gold at the shop to upgrade the items. And oh, isn't it just, it's clutch. That's what it is. They're like, Josh, we're literally still setting up. Okay, Nothing has happened yet. I'll be there going, oh, it's going to be a pentakill. I think what you need to know in order to a accurately kind of parody and satirize something is you need to know enough about it so people know that you know about it, but not enough that you actually know anything relevant. That's what you need to do. It's a monster kill. It's a pentakill. It's a godlike. Yeah, what is this going on, guys? Last time I came back, this uh, was a little bit less magic-y. Do you want me to help? Okay, and Kano is doing something a little bit uh, dodgy. Hey, um, Savos, can I have your robe? What's going on, mate? I know where to find the Staff of Magnus. Go and retrieve it. I mean, okay, cool. Just, just go and get the Staff of Magnus. Did I mean Monster Kill? Yes. Best in show as a good commentary team. I would... Garuk, welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're having a lovely day. Reach Anuk. It's fine. Just, just walk in. See, it's fine. Oh, just pop inside. See? Sweet. Hey, dude, how's it going? You are just... You little rapscallion. What are you up to? The person is busy. I, mean, I can see he's busy. I brought a skeleton army with me. What are we doing? What are we doing? Digi, welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a lovely day. What a shocking face. It's the guy that killed Terra. That is my new legacy. And then the screen goes white and we wake up right. under the stairs and it was all a dream. Right, hey, I think I'm okay, man. What's up? Arcano is doing something with the eye. We can't... Find the Archmage. What happened, mate? What? Rufus, get back in there. Find the Archmage. Where? If I were an Archmage, where would I be? Harry Potter. I think J.K. Rowling is a complete coward for not ending the final book with and then Harry woke up under the stairs back in Privet Drive and it was all a dream and the Dursleys were still alive and everyone hates him. That's what they should do. Tolf there, it's Arncano, mate. It's, something's happened with the eye. The Archmage is dead, by the way. So you're going to need a new one, and I would like to nominate me. To Matt. Matt is going to the extremely dark ending in chat there, I see. That would make me like Harry Potter. Just, and then they all... Is it... Savos, of course, assuming the traditional Archmage death stance of clipping through the floor and then planting his face just straight down in the tiles. I'm going to search him. Apparently I'm not allowed to. Can I, can I search? I'm not allowed to search Savos Aaron. This is the traditional... What? He's too powerful for Ray's zombie. You know what we can do, though? It all follow. What's going on? Savos. I'll see you in Sovereign Guard. Oh. I, I thought that was like a well. Um, all I've, I've... I'm just marinating the Archmage right now. Maybe you'll... Let's get your foot in there as well. Maybe put that foot... Oh, oh dear. Oh... <laughs> Oh, um, let's just let's put that. Uh, I've just made Archmage soup. 
This is not the the thing I thought it would be, to be honest. Oh. Ah, yes. Yes, the, the Geralt pose, I see. You know what? You, Rufus, don't look at this. Don't don't tell the authorities what Daddy just did. Okay? Because this is... I'm on a lot of lists already, Rufus. Not going to need that. Right? Maybe he was playing Dragon Age and he's trying to master the taint. That's what he's trying to do. Cass, I'm sorry that was your first time chat. Cass, look at that. First time in the chat. Hello. And he joins me just arranging the Archmage in front of a bowl of soup while he masters the taint. If you want to be the next Archmage, you've got to take the next... Ar that's that's how the Archmage is... You know, that's how they, they choose the next one. Help can't breathe laughing. I'm sorry this has had to go this way. Something went wrong. The Archmage is presenting in a well. Yeah, let's get down there right now. Just don't let me arrange anyone's body, because it doesn't go great when I do that. <laughs> Where's my money, Savos? I will put you in even more compromising positions. Right, let's pop down here, see what's going on. Please tell us about the love life. I mean, do you mean how to be successful at love lives? It's very easy. I've explained this before. One, be attractive. Two, don't be... N oh, oh, I've got the wrong spell. I'm, I'm casting Ray Zombie instead of Conjure Flame Atronach, which is what I should be casting. There we go. And my, yes, my zombie warriors are here. We've got, oh god, there's a lot of magical anomalies going on. This is a bit of chaos going on right now. I'm liking it though. Flame Atronach, you best keep resisting flames. Holy hell, that's a lot of magic. -y Skeletons, can you do something please? Get up, Rufus. Get in there. Oh, wrong, wrong spell. I wanted to cast... I wanted to Fus Rodar Rufus into it. Have a lot of money. Yeah. You were going to tell me about the anime love life. Oh, the anime love life. Yeah, of course. I, I know the anime love life. What do you want to know about it? Do you want me to, to recap it? Okay, so... The anime love life. Um, slice of life. Obviously. Uh, the intro sequence starts with a bird flying in a blue sky and then the camera pans down past a lovely pink in bloom petal tree and then there's a scene of the main character the everyman you know no real personality running because they're late for school but they've managed their, their mum has prepared a huge spread breakfast but they've just managed to grab a slice of toast and they put it in their mouth and they run and then there's a record scratch and it stops and it says that's me I bet you're wondering how I got here. And then look at Rufus just trying his best. And then Love Life starts. And Love Life is about a boy who just loves life, really. It's, it, there's no real plot to the episodes. Just have a good time. Hangs out with his friends. Uh, there's an episode where they go to the beach and everyone wears skimpy bikinis. Defeat the crit. Two out of ten. Rufus, you're going to have to really pick up the pace, mate. Because we're on two out of ten, okay? Yeah, I need you doing a lot more. Love Life's all about you. There's a Hot Springs episode. Just dudes being dudes. Yeah, there's a Hot Springs episode. There's a beach episode. There is... Uh, they used There was a scene with guns in it, but then four kids got hold of it. So everyone's just pointing now. Like that episode in Yu-Gi-Oh! When the two guards run in to apprehend Kaiba. And he's just standing there with his briefcase. And the two guards are pointing at him. And Kaiba thinks, ooh, they're pointing a little bit aggressively. Best run away. Uh, because it makes, you know, a lot of sense when you do it that way. Gotta love Rufus Cut. Mean, look at Rufus. He's trying his best. God bless him. Rufus, go on. There's one more. Off you go. Go, Rufus. Go, Rufus. Come on. Where's the enemies? Defeat the creatures. There's got to be another creature somewhere. Oh, 10 out of 10. Sweet, we've done. Okay, Mirabelle, where are you? Let's go and let her know that we've finished. Imagine watching anime. Will Josh give a summary of 177013? I know all the animes. What animes do you want? Do you want me to tell you about Hero School? That's my favourite anime. 
I've, I've explained this before. My favourite moving manga is Hero School, which follows the adventure of Normal Boy and his friend Angry Boy as they befriend Hero Man, the most powerful hero of all the heroes. And then Normal Boy doesn't have any powers and he has to become the next Hero Man by eating a piece of Hero Man. What piece? I'll let you use your imagination and figure out what that's going to be. But then the bad League of Bad show up. And they start doing all this bad shit. And you go over and you're like, hey, Hero Man, we've, we've got to fight the bad League of Bad. And Hero Man's like, I'm not a hero anymore. I'm, I'm not. But Hero Boy can be a hero. But the problem is there's so much hero in him that he, he basically dies too much hero that's the whole plot there's, there's two episodes it's not as good as my hero academia which basically did the entire plot correctly you know hero boy hero boy was shit my hero academia however much better they basically took the entire you know general plot and did it more that's what they did josh anime good but do you watch vtubers you don't know that I'm not a VTuber. You don't know this isn't a really elaborate rig. I am actually a small Japanese girl who wears a shark hoodie and speaks in a high-pitched voice. This is my VTuber persona. You have no idea how expensive this was. It was ridiculous amounts. All right, we got the guys from Avatar to come and do this. Nobody makes an old man VTuber. Pixel, I would ban you for calling me an old man. How dare you? Wait, you paid to look like that. That that hurts. Okay? I'm going to laugh it off and I'm going to smile, but I want you to know when I go to sleep tonight, that line is going to replay over and over in my head. Okay? That's what's going to happen. Wish I could say the same for us. You can... If this is your meta avatar. It is. It is. I'm not saying that I am Mark Zuckerberg. I'm just saying you've never seen me and Mark Zuckerberg in the same place at the same time. And that's because I'm allergic to lizards. So as soon as he walks into the room, for my own health, I've got to leave. Right, I'm off to the Labyrinthian. Hi Mark, nice vest. Thanks. Uh, the jiggle physics. Why make an avatar with grey hair? Look, I... What are you talking about? Hey, what's up? He gave me something. He was from the Labyrinthian. I like how I've just rocked up. Everything's gone wrong. And I'm like, right, guess I'm off to the Labyrinthian. Okay. So I've got the uh, Savos Aaron's Amulet. What do you know about the Sigic Order? Let's go and enter the Labyrinthian, shall we? What is your build? Um, Necromancer. Pretty much just emotional damage. That's what it does. Have you heard of the Elder Scrolls inspired musician? Not yet. Not yet, but I will look into them. So we're going to the Labyrinthian. What was the item we just got given? It was apparel, and it was something. Samos Aaron's Amulet increases your magicka by 50 points. That increases by 30 points. That's literally awful. Okay, so we've got rid of that. We've got Samos Aaron's Amulet instead. We'll quick save the game. We're off to the Labyrinthian. Do I like dub or sub in anime? Uh, neither. I like watching it in silence. And I I actually read the manga really fast while watching the anime. And I use the, the words from the manga to match up with the anime. It's really difficult when it doesn't match up. That's That really annoys me. Bath or shower? Both. Lie down in the bath while showering. See, everyone's always... You're thinking too simply. That's the problem. Where's the Labyrinthian? That's freaking miles away. Okay, that's in Morthal. Um, this isn't good. Because there's no... Oh, God, there's no route back, is there? We've got to travel all the way back to Windhelm. Or we've got to go to Dawnstar. May as well just run east to Dawn... No, west. Run west to Dawnstar. That seems the easy thing to do. Yeah, you've got to just lie down. Oh, hang on, there's some enemies. Lie down and shower while in the bath. Easiest way to do it. Everyone always calls you crazy. Nope, it's not crazy. It's efficient. That's what it is. 
Let's uh, let's let all of my my dudes attack the magical anomalies. I'm gonna let my son deal with that. My son deals with all my problems. I'm guessing he makes a cup of coffee and puts a tea bag in it. I absolutely do. I call it coffee. That's what it is. Is that before or after the existential dread sets in? If the existential dread isn't setting in at least once every few days, are you really alive? Just think about it. Are you really living if you're not worried about everything every now and again? Are you doing your dishes at the same time that you shower and bath? You're, you're missing a trick there, mate. I skip the entire step of dishes. I just eat in the shower. All right. Little microwave next to the shower, obviously covered in rubber to make it nice and safe. Heat your food up, grab it, eat it in the shower. Look, just think about it. You get a little tub of food, you know, rice, chicken, meat, potato, whatever you want. You eat it in the shower. The great thing is, as you're eating, your solid food slowly becomes a soup, which means it's then easier to eat quicker. I'm all about the efficiency. That's what it is. All about the efficiency. Pizza dipped in the bath water cleans your insides. People always go, Josh, you know, what's your digestion like? How clean is your stomach? Remarkably clean. Absolutely remarkably clean because I, I put a little bit of matey bubble bath on the end of the pizza. Then all you got to do is jump up and kind of shake around for a bit. Straight away, you cleaned yourself. Speed run breakfast. That's how you do it. What is this guy up to? Spiry Mage, how you doing? Mate, you know what? It's quite a staff you've got there. Oh, you're, you found the stuff in the... You found it in the the staff, not in me. Hey, you, I'd, I'd, uh, I'd love to use the staff. That's a very poor answer. It's a real shame. Staff of zombies. Sweet. Left foot. Do we need a left foot or left leg? Oh, bollocks. Um, oh, but bandits, this is fine. Oh, this is good. You guys could give me body parts. This is excellent. Bandit chief, let's just burn you down slowly but surely. This is fantastic. Take both. Yeah, we will take both. I'm going to just burn the bandit chief first of all. And after burning the bandit chief. Yeah, there we go. Oh, your skeleton crumbles, body parts added. You get body parts back from the skeleton crumbling. Was it the left leg? Left leg, we've got one, guys. Okay, we have got what we need. However, that would involve going all the way back to the thing. What's in the bandit chief? Steel battle axe of fatigue. Got left leg. Sweet. Oh, that is much nicer. Okay, I'm carrying too much. I'm carrying 11 too much. We've got to get rid of stuff, guys. We've got to throw things away. What are we throwing away? What have we got too much of? Scrolls, potions. Can probably throw away a lot of these to be fair. Because I'm look, potion of regeneration, never gonna use it. Potion of minor healing. I'll I'll use a couple of those. Apparel. I don't need the leather armor of alteration. It's cool, but I'm never gonna use it. And I'm also gonna get rid of any weapons I don't need. Hunting bow of I don't use the hunting bow. Let's get rid of you. You're pointless. Okay, cool. I've got all the stuff I need now to make another skeleton. So, we... Oh, no, the skeleton thing's over there, isn't it? That's a shame. We'll go to Dawnstar. Because from Dawnstar, we can take the thing to Windhelm, can't we? All right, let's just keep going to the west. Hey, Josh, I log into Terra, and now I kill Terra. Yeah, I know. I know. Quicksilver ingots are an affront to the laws of nature. What are you getting me to add? Is it gold? Would you, are you getting me to add gold? 10,000 bits of gold. Make Rufus carry your junk. I think he loses items. That's why I don't give them to him. Because if you give Rufus stuff, he legitimately loses items. Alright, cool. Rufus is... Oh god, Rufus. He's trying his best. Oh no. He's in between the bandit and the... Unfortunately, he's in between the bandit and the Atronach. And the Atronach does occasionally just slap Rufus with fireballs. Rufus is getting pelted with arrows. He's getting slapped with fireballs. He's trying his best. Bless him. He's really trying his best. Let's try and burn this bandit down. Oh, they are beautiful. Good job there. Good job. 
it's gold left arm. Yeah, we'll take you. I'm pretty much going to take everything if it's if it's raising zombies. He holds aggro and can't die. He is literally the best tank in the entire game. I'm not even making that up. He genuinely is the best tank in the entire game. We're going to keep re-summoning this while we burn through it. Okay. okay, Ice Wolves are way, way more powerful than I thought they should be. So maybe this skeleton can... Uh, can get involved in attacking. Oh, nice. Rufus, you absolute babe. Just wrecking stuff there. Take Rufus somewhere nice and leave him there. Yeah, like back to his mother's. That's what I can do. What do I consider more as the child? Rufus or the Atronach? The Atronach has proven itself again and again and again. Rufus is just a drain on resources. That's all he is. He's on follow from the fountain. Oh, yeah. Let's just hang on. All follow. There we go. Hopefully all of my skeletons should be following me now. I've got to drop down here without dying and then run back up. I did forget how bloody big Skyrim is. It's a, it's a big game, isn't it? Rufus is the drain for the resources you don't give him. He drains my love. That's what he drains. Low stamina alert. Yeah, I need to sleep. And unless I can sleep on this bedroll just here... All right, you know, I might be able to, but I'm pretty sure that's also cold. So sleeping on the bedroll gets your stamina back, but will hurt my health because it's cold. Uh, oh, wow, okay, that, that's even worse. Oh, stamina is food, isn't it? Yeah, good point. There we go. Stamina's food. Thank you for letting me know. Sleeping is magic, not stamina. There's a Daedra butler you can summon. I don't need to. I've got Rufus. Why would I summon a Daedra butler when I can just summon even more Rufus? You guys look chill. I'll leave you guys alone. I will mind my own business. I'm not going to... Why am I going south? I need to be going west. Okay. West. That's it. Go west. The song told me to go west. One skeleton down. Yeah, we're going to resurrect another skeleton in a second. Don't you worry. Life is peaceful there. Yep. We are going west. Where the skies are blue. Go west. Where other lyrics happen. I just just go west. That's that's the song. Just do do a westerly journey. It's maybe not the greatest version of that song, but do a westerly journey is is what I was told to do. There's a lighthouse over there. And if I know anything about lighthouses, I'm probably gonna find a seagull. And then hopefully Willem Dafoe will cook me some lobster. That's what I hope will happen. Finally came live on stream. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're having a lovely day. I'm going to see if Willem Dafoe... Because I am fond of his lobster. That's true. Let's pop over there to the lighthouse. What a great film. What a great film. Your skeletons don't fight at all and you've not even noticed. Of course they fight. Look, I mean, they're, they're here. All fight. See, look, they're all fighting. Right now. I mean, they're not fighting right now. There's nothing else there to, to attack, but they will fight. Life isn't going to stay peaceful if Rufus is heading this way. Rufus and Josh, harbingers of fun. Fought any old gods in this game? Only Rufus. Only the immortal, endless, unkillable Rufus. Emotional support skeletons. If You know what? When I play D&D, that's going to be my new character. A necromancer with... Emotional support skeletons. Five will go west. Don't don't you bring Fivel into this, all right? We're all gonna start crying if you bring Fivel into this. Frost flow lighthouse. Let's see if we can find. Let's find Willem Dafoe. Let's see if we can find Robert Patterson as well. They're not as oh god, they're at okay. This is this. This lighthouse is clearly taking place after the film. Find the source of the murders in Frost Flow Lighthouse. I will... I, I just want to have a nap, to be honest. You feel warmer, but still chilly. I'm just going to have a bit of a sleep. You cannot sleep when enemies are nearby. Where are the enemies? I didn't see any enemies nearby. Didn't think there were any nearby. So we can open one of these doors. We'll, we'll check. That was the crab. It was the crab's fault. Rufus is the enemy. Oh. 
Apparently you can level conjuration because there's an enemy there. Heavy armor increased. Hang on. So there's an enemy close by. And if I keep summoning, it will keep counting as me gaining stuff. See, sweet. Also, I'm uh, very slowly going to very slowly going to try a lockpick with like two lockpicks left. I am so good at lockpicking in this game. Uh, I'm not even kidding. I'm genuinely quite good at this. Let's keep my flame atronach ready. Quick save the game. Let's go up and attack. Four lockpicks. Imagine not having hundreds. I'm not cheating. I don't know what you're on about, but I'm playing this game legit. And I'm a legit player. Apart from all the times we've added salmon steak. Legit player. And the gold that we've added. And the stuff we've done. Apart from all the times that I've done a lot of stuff that would be considered, you know, cheating. I am, I think, playing legit. So it's there, which means it's either there or there. Okay, that took only a few lockpicks. We're getting good at this. We are getting good at this. Let's just use... Oh, so Rufus, stand here. Rufus, fine, don't stand there, mate, whatever you want. You are legit between the instances of not being legit. Yeah! Yeah, see, that's what we can do. Oblivion lockpicking was awesome. Yeah, I loved mashing the auto-try button. What the bollocks is going on down there? Rufus, get involved, mate. In you go. Go for it, Rufus. It's a fatherly push in the right direction. Can I... Because I'm summoning a flame match tonight. Can I also summon a familiar? You are drained. What does that mean? It means I need to sleep. I legitimately need to sleep because my magicka is going to go down if I don't. Let's just uh, burn you down if we can. Char us. Oh, I mean, this is probably what killed... The you have been poisoned! Oh my god, that was clutch. Can we just take a second to appreciate the fact that my health was quite low at that point. All right, that was that was a little bit lucky. Summons only one unless you get the perk at 100 and no mods affect that. Oh, okay, cool. Well, we will uh I will continue to keep the cunt to the flame atronach and the frostbite spell. That was amazing. Damage eating, master runescape player. Yes, that was tick eating. See? Rendy taught me that when he got that level 3 fire cape. What's in uh Oh, Potion of Minor Healing. Thank you very much. Can we... Are we done now? Can we pretty much kind of like go and chill and... Everything finished? Oh, no, there's there's more. I don't want to do more. I want to go to sleep. I only came into this lighthouse to have a nap. I didn't come to solve your problems. I am not the world's problem solver. I came to have a nap and that was it. And I'm going to do just that and then leave. I'm also going to take your salmon steak and your baked potatoes. Walks in, takes baked potatoes, refuses to elaborate, leaves. There we go. This isn't Dragon Age. It's not. Why did Rufus shout Mammoth Nose just now? Because Rufus is the king of the burn. He is. He is the absolute king of the burn. He knows how to really get under your skin. Why is it still cold? I thought it should be... Hang on, can we just... Can we... Oh, we can't put some candles on, can we? I thought it'd be warm here. I really thought the inside... Is it warm over here by a candle? Nope. It's not warm over here either. Okay, so my health's going to stay drained until I can get inside somewhere warm. Were those baked potatoes covered in blood? No. They were covered in special sauce that we're not going to talk about. Horse. Horse. Horse hide. Horse meat. Yeah, there's some horse meat. Ah, good old horse meat. Reminds me of Tesco's Bolognese. That's a very specific English joke. Remember? 
Remember when they were like, oh, they're using horse meat in Tesco's bolognese. And everyone else was like, okay. Shit's delicious, yo. Or lasagna, whatever it was. It's fine. People always went, oh, I'm so hungry I could eat a horse. And then when they discovered that they had been, they were upset. Why? Nothing wrong with that. Please stop faking an English accent. Right, you're not my real dad. You can't tell me what to do. Tesco white sauce is glue. I mean, I hope so. I mean, we all ate some glue in primary school, didn't we? We all occasionally made some mistakes. We all liked using those random white spatula things that you would... Uh, venison, that's nice. Those random white spatulas that didn't really spread the glue around as much as damage the paper you were spreading it on. The most satisfying thing in primary school was opening the glue pots and peeling off the layer of dried glue, especially if the glue pot had just been emptied. So the layer of dried glue went all the way around the pot, all the way to the bottom, and basically you ended up with some kind of like pot inner skin. That was the best thing to do. And, you know, I, I did that when I was in primary school. And all people kept saying to me is, Mr. Hayes, why are you doing that? Because I was teaching the class at the time. And I looked at them and I said, look, you guys don't get it. You guys don't get that this is what's going to define your childhood. I think you need to enjoy this a little bit more. And then the kids would say stuff like, yeah, but Mr. Hayes, we normally use PVA. Why are you using Gorilla Glue? And I thought, y you don't get it, do you, kids? We don't do things by halves here. Right? I don't look so good, am I feeling all right? How don't you shut up, all right? Shut up. You can't always look your best, can you? Big brain, it's tastier. It's tastier. Mr. Hayes, why are you eating the glue? Because the school board cut the funding for free school meals, and this is the only thing I can do to feel alive. While she has bones. Yeah, she's fine. Don't worry. Look, even though we're playing a necromancer, we can't just see every single humanoid as a walking sack of bones. Where have the dragons been? Did you disable them? Not seen a single dragon the entire game. I don't think I'm far enough through the main quest to have many dragons appear. Remember, I've not done much of the main quest at all. I'm doing the Mages Guild quest right now. Can you mug someone for the bones? Only the greatest pickpocket in the land can pickpocket someone's bones without them noticing. One minute you're standing up, the next you're just like a bit of jello on the floor. And you're just, you're just left wondering, what happened? Where did my bones go? I mean, come on, who hasn't one day woken up and wondered where their bones went? We've oh, Dawnstar is to the north. Just straight north. I've missed it by, like, a mile. Okay, cool, just straight north. You wake up in a bathtub filled with ice and it's gone. Yeah, I'm 37, I can relate. You know what's weird is, a couple of years ago, I can remember doing things like parkour... And I can remember doing things like gymnastics and throwing myself down a hill for stunts, for films and theatre work and fighting and boxing and stage combat. And now, if I wake up a little bit funny, it's basically the day gone. My body went, hey, you slept at a three degree angle last night, so uh, your spine is going to pay for it today. Oh, good, we've got bandits. We've Oh, bollocks. Skeletons, you have picked a bad fight here. But it's okay. We're gonna do this. Might take a while, but we're gonna do... Where's the bandit highwayman? Okay, the bandit highwayman, you guys need to wait your turn. Okay, oh, there you are. You need to wait your turn, my friend, because we are killing the big thing. Destruction increased to 34. Sweet. There we go. Bound bow. I don't want to do bound bow just yet, because... I'm gonna be honest, I wanted to level... Ru Go Rufus! I wanted to level my destruction. I wanted to keep constantly bringing back my... There we go. My Flame Atronach. Because I'm sure there was a bandit somewhere. I'm hungry. I have a snack in the middle of this fight. Why not? The Mammoth seems immune to ice. He's not, though. He's not, don't you worry. So what we'll do is we'll get the Bound Bow out in a minute. There's only a giant and a mammoth left. I probably should use some of my my magicka. And then what I'll do is I'll get bound bow. Okay, let's just cast... If I can cast bound bow, that'd be great. 
I'm going to keep uh, waiting until I've got enough to cast it. Kill the mammoths, the giant starts launching Rufus. Okay, that I can do. Okay, bound bow takes a lot of my mana. Thankfully, it's pretty decent damage. Because it's basically the strength of a Daedric bow. And I've not been doing what everyone does in Skyrim and playing a stealth archer. Rufus is getting pretty much wrecked by this mammoth, to be fair. And I... Is that my... Is that my fire archon over there? It's got to be, because they're attacking the giant. Oh, good, the giant's dead. That's pretty good. Stealth builds are... I'm not going to do stealth builds, because... I don't find it as fun or as interesting to do stupid summony necromancer builds. Look at that. It's took down. Icarus, thank you very much for the sub. That is remarkably kind of you. Oh! I really thought... There we go. The mammoth is dead. What can we get back from the mammoth, if anything? A garnet! Yeah, because every mammoth has a ruby shoved up its ass. And we'll search the giant. A garnet again. Gold. Gold is good. I'll take gold. We are very cold right now, though, so... <gasps> Hip bone, right foot, right hand. Oh, here we go. Left leg, right foot, right leg. We're carrying too much to be able to run. Not a problem. Not a problem at all. I can throw some useless stuff away. Rufus Air Express aborted. Next time. Very, thank you very much for the gifted sub. That is incredibly kind of you. Let's throw away... We're only carrying two... Too much. So let's throw away a quick silver ingot. That's pointless. Let's put silver ingot. Don't need you. Uh, all right. So we're at 160. Can we? Oh, we, we can't move fast yet. One more thing to throw away. Books. I don't care about books, do I? Oh, destruction increased. All right. So I can just throw you away. Cool. Now let's run north. Because north should be. Yeah, north is Dawnstar. Let's pop over to Dawnstar. From Dawnstar, we should be able to take a caravan back to Winterhold, which would get me to the altar where I can make more stuff. Can you throw Rufus in the fire? Yes, you can. With the basic survivor mod, you can drink booze to warm up. Oh, okay. Let's uh, see if that works, shall we? Got some food, do we? Uh, no, I've only got good food on me, unfortunately. So, no alcohol. I'm being a good boy. Good boy all the way. No, thank you very much for the Prime sub. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're having a lovely day. I want him to feel valued by his hard work. I do try and be as entertaining as I can. Going to pitch all your books and useless stuff in town. Yeah, I could do that. I could probably do that. Dawnstar has a boat, though. It Does it also have a, a caravan thing? Only Whiterun, Windhelm, Markarth, Windhelm, and Solitude have carriages. There is a boat from Dawnstar to Windhelm. We'll take a boat. A boat is fine. A boat's good. A boat will work. We can work with a boat. Dr. Hendricks, thank you very much. Did you ever play Kingdoms of Amalur? No, I didn't. It's on the list. The list is long and varied, and it's definitely on the list, but I haven't got a chance to play it yet. Lambry, thank you very much for the, uh, the gift. That is, you're all being very, very generous today, people. I just try and provide the a silly fun stream. You know, a little bit of, uh, a little bit of levity in an otherwise difficult life. You know, no one knows what's going on in someone's life. No one knows what struggles people are facing. So if we can all come together and laugh at a stupid bit of Skyrim for a bit, that, I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm fine with that. I think that is good. That is what we should all aspire to. Everyone's got struggles. Everyone's got problems. Everyone's got challenges they're facing, and you know, some are worse than others. And That doesn't invalidate any of the other ones. Some are good, some are bad. But what we can all do is we can all agree that Rufus occasionally just needs to be thrown away. That's what we can all agree. R.E.M. famously said in their song, Everybody Hurts, they famously said, I've got my faith, I've got my orange crush. That's what they said. I mean, those guys knew what they were on about. Yeah, headed up by Mr. John R.E.M. Mr. John Rem. That's what they said. K. 
Kicking Rufus can be the key for world peace. If we could all achieve world peace by just having a punt at Rufus every now and again. My current struggle is which monitor do I put the stream on? Straddle it between both of them. Hey, Captain Wayfinder, mate. You're the ship captain. I want to go to... Win what happened to the salts? Some fine-cut void salts. Uh, what happened? Oh, you sold some stuff, did you? Can I just... Mate, I just... I just want to take your ship. Why? Hey, are you the captain? Why can't I just chart your ship? I want to go somewhere. It's the smaller boat. Oh. Oh, that one over there. All right, cool. Hang on. Just jump into the... Oh, that water was very cold. Nearly died from that. Hey, man, how's it going? Right. If I go back to Winterhold, will that... Is that where I need to be? No, it's not. I need to go to Windhelm. Is there a boat to Windhelm? Or Morthal? Windhelm or Morthal would help. Yo, Harlog. Uh, Solitude, Windhelm. Hey, Solitude could work, couldn't it? Solitude could definitely work. Because I'm pretty sure that has a thing. Yeah, that'll work. All right, off we off we pop. Let's just do that. No, solitude is too far. Solitude has a carriage. This is fine. We're gonna quick save the game. We we'll press F five. We quick save. We jump in. All we need to make sure is that we're not too. As long as it isn't too cold, and we die as soon as we arrive, that would be bad. So we we arrive at solitude. Oh, cool! It was actually quite warm. That was fantastic. We made it all the way here. Does Solitude have a carriage? That's the question. Do you, you lovely, lovely people, do you have a carriage? You should get the real-time carriage mod. You're technically fast traveling. Let's not do that. Yes, not in town, though. Yes, but it's far away from the entrance. Oh, interesting. Okay, so we'll head up here. We'll find out where it is. And we'll head to it. So if I was... The Solitude Carriage. Where would I be? It's a bit outside the main gates. So Solitude's over there, isn't it? Do we go this way? Oh yeah, oh god, I can remember this. It's quite down the hill, isn't it? I remember this. It's down the hill. And it's just around here. Oh my goodness, Ram, thank you very much for gifting all the subs. That is incredibly kind of you. What do I think about Black Desert Online? It's, uh, it's a good game. It's not bad. It's The combat system's nice. It's a bit grindy at the end, but... It's not terrible. Oh, hang on. Hang on a tick. I was only going to go back over here so we could... Oh, bollocks. Hang on. Oh, the bone altar doesn't have any transport. But there's another bone altar here. So what if I put my own marker there and we see what this bone altar's like. Let, should we see what this bone altar's like? Because this might have another bag of bones. You never know. The new bone altar might come with a brand new sack and sometimes you've just got to rummage around a new sack, haven't you? Sometimes you've just got to find a new sack with a new bone. So let's go and see. It's not rude! If anyone from Twitch is watching this going, Ooh, I'm going to ban you. It's not rude. It's exactly what we're doing in the game. You're allowed to do this. You're absolutely 100% allowed to say what I just said. It's in the game. This is a thing that happened. If you would rather I can, you know, do this stream from, from a hot tub, then it'll be fine. Evan, thank you very much for the Prime sub. Remarkably kind of you. Why would that be rude? It's just a man. Look, I'm a necromancer. I'm just a guy who wants to raise a family. That's all I am. Just a nice, simple necromancer. As I've explained to you before, a necromancer is just a cleric with very bad timing. If you laughed at the necromancer raising a family, Joe, you really need to reassess what you find funny. Because that was, that was bottom of the barrel stuff. Okay? That is a Bottom at Razor Family, that was easy stuff. That was me taking a super simple pot shot. 
Hey, Imperial Soldier, how's it going, guys? You have a good day? Hopefully you're having a lovely time. What is up here? Oh, this is lovely! Look at you guys going for a bit of a stroll. Oh, aren't you? Oh, you're Thalmor. That's a shame. I was almost friends with you then. But then I remembered nobody likes the Thalmor. Josh, I don't think we'd be here if we weren't going to laugh at bottom of the barrel content. Are you trying to say that I am bottom of the barrel content? How dare you, sir? How dare you? You have no idea. You're already aware something's wrong with you. Yeah. The air is frigid here. It's cold. Mid-barrel. Yeah, mid-barrel content. I'll take that. You think I'm mid-barrel content. Okay. That's good. So where the heck is this altar? I'm going to assume it's just over here. I mean, the, the map tells me it's over here. Is this it? Nope. Is... There you are. Oh! Force... Oh, Jesus Christ. Forsworn Briarheart. Okay, they're... They're pretty tough. So let's... Let's see what we can do now. I need that archery upgrade that makes time go a bit slower when you aim. Go on, Rufus. Rufus is tanking the Briar Heart. Do all the altars share the same storage? I have no idea. Absolutely no idea at all. I guess we're about to find out. Boom, son. Cinematic kill and everything. What the hell is a Force Sworn doing over here? Probably, you know, just because it wanted to, to have something. Right arm, there we go. Okay, the Bone Altar. Nope, they do not share the same things. So, Hip Bone, everything apart from Rib Cage, it seems. Don't think we have enough here. So what do we have? Do we have a Rib Cage? We do not. Okay, so we have a... Let's just put all the bones that we've got here. So, oh, no, I don't want to take stuff. I want to put stuff in the bag. So we're going to put all of the hip bones. Store those. Left arm, left foot, left leg. This seems to be the easiest altar to get to. This is definitely, without a doubt, the easiest altar to get to. So we're probably going to use this more. What I need is a ribcage. So if only we had a ribcage. Hang on, we saw a load of Thalmor back, didn't we? Can't you just fast travel? No. No, I cannot. Evil Grayson, take care of yourself, man. Thank you very much for joining us. It's been lovely to have you here. This is without a doubt the easiest altar to get to because it's close to, uh, pretty much close to solitude. I can take that. We could get the Thalmor, couldn't we? I'm sure I could probably take a load of Thalmor. Yeah, I, uh, I can't see the Thalmor being too difficult. Can you? No, definitely not. Over here, weren't they? The Justicias. Windhelm Altar is closer. Yes, but there's no way to travel back from the Windhelm Altar. That's the problem. Right, where were those Thalmor? There they are! Uh, let's just quick save, because this is probably a bad idea. One of you guys... Oh, there's a fight going on, isn't there? Why don't we just, uh... Surprise! Yeah! One of you guys probably has a ribcage. And I need it. Please give me your ribcage. Let's get you down. Oh! Beautiful! Let's just run away. Alright. Hey, get off my son. Only I can beat him. It's like, you know... Oh, god damn. Okay, hang on. It's like, you know, if you live in a really shit place, only you are allowed to call it shit. You know, someone else says, Oh, I know that town, that town's shit. You're like, hey, you can't say that. You don't live there. I lived there. I can call it crap because I lived there. I earned the, the privilege to call it crap. That's what it is. Okay, so I am dying a lot. And I I think I'm running out of 
a lot of stuff. Potion of healing. I can get that. If I can... Can I heal myself? Can I out-heal the Falmore? No, I can't. That cannot happen. That will not work. Falmore OP plus nerf. Hang on, let's see if we can... Uh... Okay. Archery increased. This is good. All we have to do is get a big enough distance. And hope that my son... Pretty much keeps them busy. And I miss every shot. With the bow that I'm making. You're down. Come on Rufus, get back in there mate. You are my entire tank. Let's just run away. Leave it for... Leave it to Rufus. Rufus has got this. Go on, Rufus. There's another... There is a... Yep. Oh, nope. They've, they've found me again. It's fine. Slough is pretty awful. Hope that my son keeps them busy. Then they keep launching the sun. Look, it's... It's not that I, I'm very cold. It's not that I don't like my son. It's that my son doesn't have any uses beyond pretty much just being a meat shield. But you know what? He does seem to be keeping these guys busy while I snipe them. So, Oh, that was him. I just, I may have just shot Rufus in the head just there. Think that hit the Thalmor? They're nearly dead. Hey, archery leveled up. So that's good. Yeah, I may have hit Rufus once. Oh good, the Stormcloaks are coming to help. Okay, I really thought that dude was coming to help me, to be fair. Turns out he wasn't coming to help me. Right, let's, uh, let's just run back here a little bit. Maybe it's time for another... There we go. It's time for a little bit of a flame atronach. We're going to get there. We're going to win. The only thing that harms Rufus is emotional damage. And he's he's dead inside. He, without a doubt, he's dead inside. If he's not dead inside, I've not done a good enough job. Potions. Potion of healing and healing. Need to wait for the uh, level up to refill. Oh, yeah. I can't level up without sleeping. I'm playing on... Uh, Windhelm has a carriage. It's very close to the altar. It doesn't. I'm. It's it's Winterhold. Oh, yeah. It's Windhelm, isn't it? It's Winterhold that doesn't. Yeah, Winterhold doesn't. Windhelm does. Thank you. That was what I was thinking of. Potion of Extra Magicka. There we go. Let's just get this back. Come on, one or two more hits. Yes, one down. One more hit. Excellent. Left foot. That's good. We need a rib cage. Left foot, right foot. It's not a rib cage. Right arm. It's it's not a rib cage. Kind of Kind of put all my eggs in the ribcage basket just there, guys. Kind of hoping there was a bit of a ribcage. Right, so let's just uh, click save that. Hey! You guys might have ribcages. You know what? No, we're good. I'm not going to... Oh, hang on. There's another guy just here. Chance for ribcage. Right leg. Ah, that's a shame. That is a shame. Really thought you'd have a ribcage. I suppose I could take the items back, couldn't I? I could take the thing from the bone altar to solitude, and then I could catch the carriage all the way over here to Windhelm, do the altar. Yeah, let's make Windhelm the altar bit. 
Let's go and grab the, the stuff from here. I mean, how much are we carrying right now? We are quite close to the carry limit. We'll get what we can. I keep forgetting that it's not Windhelm that's in the middle of nowhere. It's Winterhold. Windhelm has a carriage, which means Windhelm is probably the best place to go there. Shouldn't there be backpacks? Yeah, probably. Probably should. Just drop all the potion except the health one. Okay. So stamina, cure disease. I'll keep one of those. Alteration, stamina, resist fire is pointless. I don't need to lock picks. I'm good at lock picking anyway. Uh, stamina, useless. Cold, don't need it. Fire, don't need it. Strength, pointless. True shot, don't need it. Potion of the Berserker. Defender, skirmish. Look at that. I've got... Look at that. Loads of potions all on the floor. Throw them all away. Somehow I've never played Skyrim. Don't tell Todd Howard that. Backpacks are added if you got the anniversary edition. You did good, child. You did acceptable good. Don't forget a left leg. We're going to get one of everything at least. One of everything. So let's search the sack of bones. Take a hip bone. There we go. Take one of everything. Until we're close to our limit and then we just go down and take kind of one of everything we can get all right sweet now what we do is go back we catch the we catch the train back the train we catch the thing back in fact hey i've i've leveled up haven't i oh i can't raise a skeleton here because i need a rib cage that's the whole thing i'm one rib cage short of being able to raise a skeleton if I can get the ribcage, I'll be super happy. So that's what I need to do. And the ribcage uh, back there, the solitude. So we're kind of going in this direction. Get the ribcage, head back. That's south, that's west, and southeast. Pretty much this way. Take everything to the ribcage. We've got seven ribcages in Windhelm. Yes, we do. Maybe Rufus has a ribcage. I wouldn't trust any skeleton raised with parts of Rufus. All right? It would be irritating, useless, and terrible. And that's what it would be. Sounds like a thinly veiled insult. You're one ribcage short of a skeleton. Yeah. Now that's an insult I would use for Rufus. I mean, I can think of more. Rufus, you are you are one loving father short of a loving father. It's simple yet effective. The best insults just cut straight through the chaff and they go for the they go for the juggler. They go for the brutal effect. That's what they are. People often think that I'm being too harsh. I'm not harsh enough. I told Rufus a knock-knock joke, but he doesn't get it because no one ever knocks on his door. He, he doesn't understand the comedy element of them, to be fair. What is that? It's a, it's a weird-looking thing. Maybe that's some kind of magical weird altar. Don't know if we should be exploring this. Maybe this is... Dragons are coming back. They're, they're really not, mate. Trust me, they're really not. What is this? Interesting. Pop inside here. May as well. Requires a key. We do not have a key. All right. No key. We're not going in there. That's a shame. Oh. Unlock chest. Expert. Okay. Oh, okay. No! We were so close. We were so close. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to cheat. I'm not cheating. I'm doing it properly. Okay? We are playing this game properly. We are not modding this game in any way apart from our immortal, unkillable son. Look at the gorgeous, gorgeous night sky. And the gorgeous skeleton who's come to join us looking at the gorgeous night sky. All right, so we're going straight east, aren't we? Oh. Right, what time are we on? It is... Oh, goodness, I've been streaming for two and a half hours. Ladies and gents, I might need to call it there. 
I'll tell you why, I'm trying to stream for between two and three hours every single time, and I want to upload all of the old Skyrim streams, all of the VODs, to a another channel. Do you think I should archive all of my Twitch VODs on YouTube so people in the future can come back and watch all of the old Twitch VODs? I think I should. I think that will be a good thing to do, and that's pretty much what I'm going to spend this evening doing. So, thank you very much for joining me this evening. It's been lovely. Tomorrow? Uh, no, what day are we in today? We're on Saturday. Monday is another stream with Callum. It's a Tangent Tavern episode. And Wednesday, we will continue the adventures of the Dragonborn and his idiot son, Rufus. So thank you very much for joining me. It's been lovely to have you all here. I will chat to you all on Discord if you're around. Until then, take care, good night, and God bless.